Hello, hello, I'm back. Emergency restroom thing just as I started the stream, but anyways. Black Swan Incident Part 2. Yeah, basically. Basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. We yeah, had a, a little bit of a nap. Wanted to start a few minutes earlier, but uh... Kind of dozed off a little more than I should have. But it was just, well, that's just signs of me needing more sleep as per usual. What else is new? But, uh, yeah. So, new week in, or what was it? Weekly's reset, new pure fiction rolled in. And, uh, hey, yeah, we still got to go finish the new side quests in Pentaconi and everything. Or well, at least as much as I reasonably can. I don't know how long it'll actually take to get through all this now. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah. Think you commit on the Evoker skill for bingo might not be the best idea. Mizzix Spearhand is really good. Yo, nice. But yeah, good luck with that, Mel. Uh, I haven't, like, done any grand blue grinding today, actually. Oh, just like, uh, what was it? Hecking zero gun drops, but uh, I need to keep at it, but uh, Also, I need to do more bar farming But because of zero host or zero treasure host It's like oh My god, dude like the pubs don't come in because there's too much supply for the demand I'm just like oh my god, please someone come into this raid and slap it, please <sighs> But yeah, well, my voice might be a little bit on a, or at least my throat might feel on a bit of a weird side, but I was kind of like napping earlier, but eh, it all sorted itself out soon enough. But yeah, so let's get started with Star Road tonight, and hopefully we can go get Acheron. So it took you a while to figure out how... You're meant to play the Mystic Spear Hand in Dragon's Dogma, but once it clicked, it clicked. Yo, nice! Alright. Oh yeah, uh, hold on. Oh yeah, also, for the heck of- oh god, it feels like something's still in my throat. But, uh, what was it? I kind of took some time today to kind of, like, update Path of Exile and stuff. I haven't really done anything on PoE just yet, because I'm still waiting on, like, I kind of want to wait for the first balance patch with the new league mechanic because, yeah, I mean, as is tradition, people are complaining about the new league mechanic. Justifiably so, at least from the uh, things I've seen. Oh, do I want to answer if there's dragon forging or not? Uh, yeah, you can tell me if it's in or not. Uh, I, I don't mind knowing about dragon forging, honestly. It is in? Ah, alright, okay. Damn, you know, if I actually, if the dragon that ambushed me didn't actually run away, we would have had our answer there. Would I have survived long enough to find out? Probably not. <laughs> uh, like, we only, we barely scratched the first health bar, but then it flew away after nearly getting the first health bar down. <laughs> So wait, equipment is not Dragon Forge on killing it. Oh. Okay. So do you just have to like, is it like a material you need or from killing a dragon this time instead of needing to RNG it all the time from dragon kills? Cause honestly, I'd rather have a material than needing to chance the, or what was it? Chance the Dragon Forge. Cause oh my God. A mat and a specific blacksmith? Ah, okay, okay. You know what? I'll fucking take it. And I'm assuming because of that, you can actually, you know, dragon forge your main pawn instead of needing to switch to that pawn's vocation, swap equipment, slay the dragon, switch back, give the equipment back to your main pawn. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that... Like unless you're like unless you're doing the same vocation as your 
main pawn bro trying to dragon forge their equipment oh my god bro that is some tedious shit okay but yeah so we gotta go continue the bartending event and let's just get to it but yeah uh oh, oh yeah i wasn't finished on my whole pov thing but uh yeah so i kind of screwed around on pov i mean as per usual with most people uh playing pov not are they just net deck but you know how it is but yeah okay so i decided to like you know if i make a new character I'll probably just play it off stream until I get to maps because yeah going through the campaign is a pain in the ass and I'm kind of putting off on it even longer because one you know backlog two like you know like I said the league mechanic is underwhelming a pain in the ass to deal with and you even have like notable like experts like fucking uh Kriparian of all people like quitting the league early and like for anyone who's no who knows like what Kriparian does with poe arpgs or any other stuff like he has pretty in-depth knowledge and he's been with you know like in terms of as far as poe goes like he's been with it for a long ass time and he just stopped playing because one the league mechanic two like he just doesn't want to go through the fucking campaign again. Which... Yeah. Yeah. But as for me, I'm kind of just like... Or just seeing all those reactions from like, you know, content creators and other people giving their criticisms. Not just people that are just yelling, but like... You know, in-depth criticisms. I'm like, damn. That is so unrewarding. And you're forced to participate in the mechanic where you're you're forced to buff up packs of monsters for basically fucking nothing in terms of rewards from the screenshots I've seen. Again, they might be cherry-picked here and there, but it's just like, damn, I'm gonna risk- I'm gonna risk a death on my character for hecking nothing? <laughs> well, heck that. But, uh, yeah, so, like, uh, probably off stream I've decided to do, like, a Toxic Rain Pathfinder because I know that's like one of the bog standards for a lot of people, but I've never done one before. So I kind of want to do one just to see what it feels like. And you know, there's a reason why it's kind of like the go to for a lot of people because it, apparently, from what I've read up and hell, from what I've checked out just through POB and just looking stuff up on the wiki, I'm like, oh, you don't really need that much to get it going. Like maybe plus gem levels some attack speed a little bit of accuracy here and there of course but aside from that you don't need to get like all these fizz damage mods or anything you just need gem levels decent attack speed and accuracy enough to hit consistently and you're just going and i'm like oh no wonder everyone always does this like on league start <laughs> maybe i should try for once although i, I kind of wonder do when people do toxic rain do they do ballista totems or do they self or do they like do the uh what was it do, do people do totems with it or do they use it normally because like I, i've been looking up stuff just to get a feel for what, what people do it's like is it a totem thing or is it like uh like a self attack thing i'm like i keep seeing ballista i'm like oh hey oh. i'm kind of wondering about that but, eh, I guess I'll find out myself later whether or not I need to go back to the good old drawing board and reconfigure shit. Because honestly, I think when I read up on Toxic Rain, I'm like, oh, actually, I think I see why people do Ballista Totem. <laughs> I think I see it. <laughs> Some customers who were... Wait... Some customers who were into monsters... <laughs> some customers who were into monsters come in, and the, the lounge livens up. Uh, Siobhan hasn't... Uh, er, Siobhan hasn't er, da, 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 shown up yet. Well, let's start serving customers anyway. Wait a second. Where 
origami birds doing here? Can the origami birds even drink? What a fun dog, Tweet. I want a drink too, Tweet. We secretly snuck out here. Please don't make us go back, Tweet. You won't get a reward for catching us, Tweet. <laughs> okay, okay, cheeky bastards. Ah, ha, ha. What are you staring at me for? You're in the way of my food. Freshly made pizza is so crispy and hot. No one knows if I sneak a little slice, will they? Ha <laughs> ha. Wolf, a customer ordered this. You can't steal it. A slice of pizza with a corner missing is so obvious. What are you worried about? Uh, hey. Or, <laughs> if you take another bite, then uh, you can't even tell. If it's a big portion, you can eat it. Same with a small one, no problem. Yo, can I have a piece too? <laughs> Just kidding. Do I need to tell Saban about this? Ah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't think such wicked thoughts. I'll be good, I promise. How about you trust me just this once? Wolf, danger. Leave the pizza delivery to me, and none of you are allowed to get close. Okay. Oh, journalist. You want to talk with me? Of course, the atmosphere is very relaxed. It's perfect for talking about what's on your mind. As you invited me to talk, you should probably start. Uh, I want to know what you think about this lounge. I like it a lot. I fear there's nowhere else in the dreamscape that you can find a place with such a human touch. It may just be monsters that live here, but they're a lot kinder and more friendly than those visitors. They're a lot warmer than that harmony touting family too. If you want somewhere that can really help you relax, you won't find better than here. Yo, <laughs> we got newspapers? You attempt to engage in conversation with a customer before you, but they seem immersed in the leisurely ambience of the lounge, oblivious to your presence. Oh, Yeah, it's pretty cool how much more lively this place is. Now listen to them. Ah. How about... Yeah. You. Huh. I think you two would get... Or, I think you two would be great at stand-up comedy. Why don't you... Or, why don't you join me at Kiwi's radio station? Oh, can I help you with anything? I want... I want to know what you think about me. Hey, a member of the audience asked a fine question. As this is a lounge, your words have to fit in with the atmosphere. So I would respond. There are so many lounges in Penacone with so many guests in each lounge, yet you chose to talk with me. Well, what do you think? That'll blow you away, right? You're terrible at this. Ah, I know. I just like to make audiences happy. I'm no good at playing with emotion and stuff like that. Well, at least I can. <laughs> let me learn and or let me learn and I'll put in a proper show for you. Just you wait. Alright, let's make drinks. Alright, we need to make some new recipes. Okay, what do we need? Um, you know, I don't think there's really much. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Or, wait, no, should it be? No, no, no. Do we need two of these? Uh, one, two, or two? One, wait. Ah, fuck it. What? Oh, it, it was the other way around? Okay, wait. Actually, wait, what happens if you do- Oh, okay, no, I think that's too dark. <laughs> no, I don't need no hint. I just wanted to see what the colors would look like. And mint. Glorious hour. Let's be real. Huh. Uh, 
Alright. Apart from this place, who else can grant you the whole world? Huh. Oh, wow. This drink looks cool. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it's an extra large. Oh, shit. So that's two of these, then. Oh. Huh. Wait. Oh, is this three? Wait. Oh, wait, are they pulling a fast one on me? Wait a second. Uh, wait. No, I don't need no hint yet. No, no, that does that's not it. No, that ain't it. God, my, oh, God, I feel like I need to check my eyes or something. No, you don't. No, no, that's, that's too much. Is it really not 2 2 1? Wait. So no, no no, if you have one part, one part milk, two parts syrup. Okay, so it has to be a mix of something. No, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This does look correct though. But like, last time I tried, like it says it was incorrect. Yeah, the 221 doesn't do it. I'm like, wait. So it has to be something with the with the mixing of the red sunset sauce. But it has to be like or is it like a sunset and milk? No, no, that's like way too... Wonder what the issue is? Yeah, I'm not sure. Because you can't mix unless you have at least two different kinds. Unless like my eyes are playing tricks on me, but let, let, let me just like... Oh, that is it? Wait. Why does that look lighter than in the... Like, okay, I know I took like a 15 minute nap before the stream, but wait. Let me, wait. Oh, uh, I think it looks a little bit darker in the mini, in the smaller image. Here you can see it's like a little bit lighter, but here it looks a little bit darker. Huh. Hey, Yara, this one's weird and made you upset. <laughs> Yeah, like, I think it's because of the weird, like, fact that the the smaller picture looks a little darker. Because, of, I, I assume because of, like, the lighting of the glass and, like, whatever. Like, the actual, like, ambient lighting is kind of fucking with the color recognition here. Uh, oh, what was that? Oh, Hampson Eye. Huh, I try that. Not that I'm one to drink alcohol though. Uh. Alright, revenue statistics. You know what? I'll claim it all at once at the very end. This is making you 
Want a mixed drink? Shame on me, Hoya, for getting people... For developing people's drinking habits. For shame. <laughs> Alright. How the fuck are you going to drink? Do we have like those really, really like... Big loopy straws for some of the like... Dr uh, drink through? Cause holy shit, good, good fucking luck. <laughs> or developing? Yeah, yeah, developing. You know, you exude an air of uh, detachment, evoking a profound solitude as if you really weren't here. Or weren't really here. I don't know how to establish a connection with you. Your exceptional uniqueness makes me feel inferior. Uh, perhaps this place was never intended for me, yet for fleeting moments I did experience a glimmer of warmth. My aloofness remains unaltered, even in the face of defeat. And your hubis is ir irreparable beyond any hope of salvation. <laughs> What's the point of talking about all this useless stuff all day? I want something tangible like a glass of drifting wind. Don't forget to add that pretty decoration on it, thank you. What's the decoration for this drink again? Activate the Drinksmith Simulator. Drifting wind. Large wine glass. And then... The odd concoction. Oh, this looks bitter as hell. Oh. And then... Mint. Yeah, how capricious happiness can be, bleeding as the bubble is dancing upon my glass. It vanishes in the blink of an eye. Are you new here? Are you going to bully me? Where's Saban? Uh, have you ousted her? Me old with this spacious land, a seasoned drinksmith finds no place to dwell. Much like this grand hotel within the dreamscape, where I struggle to find my niche. Oh, where shall I f er, where shall my tender, melancholic soul find its abode? I'm just here to lend a hand. I see. You're abandoned too, right? So pathetic, just like me. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, sure, Savant is great at mixing drinks, but given the location, it's only natural that the lounge remains deserted and unattended. What's the point of being a drinksmith here? There are no customers, no revenue. Uh, much like those unwanted, or much like those unwanted concert tickets. And when the curtains are raised, you step onto the stage, only to be faced with a mere handful of people in the audience. It's truly disheartening. Perhaps this lounge will go out of business soon. Why are you saying that? I don't know why. It's just the feeling I have. I'm unable to see the future, and I struggle to accept its present. Eh, might as well have a few more while I'm here. Please give me a glass of something that exudes brokenness and is very refresh- <laughs> And add the decoration of Miss Robin on it. Interesting. This is the first time I've met a customer who cares so much about the decorations. I tend to do a flare with the glasses. Crash. The glass shatters to pieces on the ground. Looks like your skills could use some work. Huh. Oh, right, wait. I still need the achievement for making the wrong drinks. Uh... Should I fuck up this guy's drink or should I- No, 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 oh. Uh, no, no, wait. We're allowed to make drinks after we're done with this, right? Like a, f like a free mode, essentially? Because I, I don't want to fuck it up, like, during the, during the quest line. <laughs> Broken, bitter, strong, and stir. So glass doesn't really matter here. about oh no, no glass would matter for matching the huh okay how about how about a large uh less ice so slightly bitter and strong stir yeah 
keep it at one. This does not look pleasing. Hmm. Oh wait, wait, what? I was thinking I was looking at the wrong one. So I need to maintain the negative one, one, negative two. <clears throat> well, sure. Ah, happiness is an elusive treasure. One that needs cherishing, but I drink it all in a single gulp. Uh, following the bliss, boundless emptiness once more consumes me. It is time to leave the stage. Surely someone with a life as fulfilling as yours won't even remember me. May we meet again where there is light. Melancholy is just... M melancholic like its name. Such a pessimistic, uh, personality. Pessimistic, depressed, sighing, lacking confidence, motivation, just like me for real. Drowning in memories. It is cynical towards everything. Melancholy's personality really fits its name. Huh. Actually, wait, let, let me know check the achievements again. No, not that one. Uh Universe. Mona Joy. No. Yeah, serve the wrong one five times. Ah fuck it. Maybe I should just fuck around. Hello there. Er, um, hello there? My friend told me there's a new drinksmith here. That must be you, right? Heh <laughs> just as I thought. You seem like a fascinating person to chat with. In that case, let me ask you a secret question. Did a melancholy customer just leave? He is indeed melancholic. I'm not talking about his looks. Don't you find his demeanor special? I mean, the kind of detachment and iffy vibe. The kind of solitude you'd expect from a genius. It's just fascinating. Ahem, talking about this topic makes me feel all flush. Please make me a drink. I'll just order this chewing gum with a little more ice so I can cool down my internal uh, cathode, ray, er, cathode ray tubes. Alright, I should add some more ice cubes. Chewing gum. Super size. Oh, oh! So you can only fuck up when. Oh, okay. So you can only fuck up with the free drinks. Okay, so they don't let you go off script, or uh, but they don't let you mess with the recipe you have selected. Actually, let me see. What if I? Yeah, no, it just like stops the whole thing right there. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. It has to be free mixing that. Okay, okay. I mean, it makes sense, obviously, but okay, I was, I was wondering about that. And hamster ball night. A tantalizing taste indeed! You must be a seasoned drinksmith who can easily grasp your customers' preferences. By the way, you've only been here for a short while. I wonder if you noticed that things aren't very peaceful on the outside. It worries me too. I've always felt something creepy lurking within deep or within the hotel dream or within the hotel in the dreamscape. But if I want a quiet place, there's not much of an alternative. So frustrating, I can't find a good spot for a date. Why not have your date right here in the lounge? No way! There are too many acquaintances here, and customers could walk in any minute. It's too embarrassing. After some thoughts, the depths of this hotel seem like the best option. As long as I don't go too far, right? Who's the lucky person you're dating? Hehe, <laughs> it's a secret. However, if we get to know each other better, I might spill the beans. Well, it seems you enjoy discussing embarrassing topics. This makes me a bit fussy, to be honest. Give me another drink to cool me down some more. This time I want something dreamy and super thick. And like before, I want more ice. Oh, my circuits are gonna fry. Would it be more effective if I just put the ice cubes on her head? <laughs> Removing the glass from the ice cube pool. You love the touch of a chill glass. It can prevent you from being overly irate when dealing with certain customers. Huh. Alright. Let, let's just completely fuck this up. Oh man. I'm so sorry. It's for the achievement. This isn't what I ordered. <laughs> Making a mistake at a critical time will lose you my favor. Please don't waste the opportunity presented to you. It was nice talking to you. In my opinion, you're almost as you're almost as great a drinksmith as Savan. Impressive indeed. I'll drop by next time. Please look forward to my arrival. She's probably just easily embarrassed. Lady is probably the most normal among all the monsters that you've come in contact with so far. Oh, uh, so trust still goes up by fifty percent when you mu uh, when you mess up drinks. Running away, can't talk about it. Habitually hides true thoughts. Likes to flirt, but easily gets embarrassed. Man, hey, hey, come closer. Let's keep this between just uh or just between us. Did a customer in red come in just now? She asked a similar question just now. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I followed her right to the door of this lounge and watched her come out. So don't try to fool me. What did she, what did she talk to you about? Did and did she mention my name? She mentioned a uh melancholic customer. I knew it. I knew it. She just can't get enough of that blasted poet. Is this pretentious uh, literary accent so fascinating that she's still holding on to it? Well, forget it. Uh, it's not getting worked up about such nonsense. Just do your job and give me a drink. I want something in a large glass that is a little bitter with pretty colors. You know what pretty means? It means to separate the layers more clearly. Don't make it all cloudy like dishwashing or like dishwashing water. He's still so fixated on layering colors. On a large glass and separate the layers. <laughs> and you can have the Intellitron.
Letting me drink the sewage. <laughs> Look, how can you serve this to your customers? I told you what I need, and you can't even do what you're told. Hey, I just remember something. Were you rude to me the last time I came here? And did I say I'd teach you a lesson? Get ready to pull out your baseball bat. Hey, chill out. I thought about it, and then I realized I was a bit too aggressive. And there might be some kind of misunderstanding. I apologize for that. And I hope we can be on better terms. As you can see, next time that guest comes around, could you put in a word for me? No need for fighter. We just mention my name more often. You'll do me the small favor, won't you? Uh, depends on my mood. Think about it. It's beneficial for you, too. If you make me happy, I'll drop by more often and you'll receive more tips. Great deal, isn't it? You get paid and I get served. Win-win for the both of us. Everyone in this lousy lounge takes orders from me. What's the point of mixing drinks all the time? Stay on my side and I'll ensure you a happy life. Well, my idea is... Nobody refuses my offers because I'm always right. I refuse. You... You have no idea what's good for you. I shouldn't have expected anything from a lowly waiter. Making drinks is the only thing you're good for. Jesus Christ. Now he's being nice since it's to his own advantage. <laughs> Here's something in an extra large glass. Very sweet and tastes super intense. It's gotta have pretty layers. I'm not paying if any of my criteria are not met. Can I let you leave without paying? Huh. Nothing but fluff and flash. Pretty on the outside and useless otherwise. I don't think you're in a position to say this. Alright, let's see. Large. Perfect. And a lemon. Just as I thought. You can't handle anything slightly challenging. That's all you're capable of. I'm sorry I need the achievement. I'll still pay for it, but remember, it's my tree. Well, I've calmed down a bit. I won't finish, finish my drink, but I'm not done talking. How long are you getting, intending to work at this lounge? How long do I have to wait until I don't want to see your face again? Good, the, the lemon should corrode his metal. Uh, until, or whenever you come, I'll be here. The very thought of talking to you annoys me. Tch, fine. I'm not sure how to be a competent attendant. Maybe there when you're done, I'll be waiting. It's still being so rude to me. But I learned a lot about uh, Tin Man through our chat. It should be willing to be honest with me now. A hundred percent trust of a bartender who fucks up drinks intentionally. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad about fucking this up, but ah. Where is it? Memories we share? Oh yeah, I need to fuck it up two more times. The lounge is just a few steps away. What took you so long? If I want to get a refill, do I have to wait forever? Check out my watch. You're half an hour behind schedule, and the ice in my glass is already melted. Is there something wrong with your timing? Is that what you should be asking? The customer is always right, and if you can't even get that right, then why are you even here? I honest, or honestly, I have no idea what's up on Tachi. Let me fill you in. Show me what you got. Watch and learn, new blood. This is what a good lounge should be like. Can I leave? Damn. Welcome back, Your Excellency, the esteemed and illustrious Lord TikTok. It is my utmost fortune to have encountered your presence. How shall I extol the sun? Your radiance surpasses the splendor of syrup. The humble lounge gleams with your arrival. In my heart, you are akin to the... 
the Soul Glad's bottle cap. Without you, the entire bottle of Soul Glad, no. All joy would lose its meaning. Dump all the lemons on this guy and then crush them all. <laughs> That's not how he usually talks. Well said, my loyal servant. Now I find myself at a crossroads. Show me the answer through your, uh, through your dance steps that portend to the future. Which beverage benefits this extraordinary journey? Your will is my command, your excellency. Hmm, uh-huh. Yes, the hues of the dice indicate that the finest beverage shall be handcrafted by the drinksmith over there. The drinksmith over there? Preposterous. She is not but a village girl I found from the inn. That was this role, like, weird-ass roleplay shit. You don't believe an ignorant girl who can't even trace her lineage to possess the skill to brew the beverage I require. Huh, how intriguing. Hey, bring me... Before the sentence was finished, Mr. Bigwig suddenly, suddenly ran over from a distance, shouting an alarm. Master, terrible news, Master! It's Madam, she... She's run away again! Where did she go? She's still inside the lounge. Oh, no need to make a commotion. Inform her of my return and request her immediate presence. I told Madam, but she wouldn't listen. She even said that. What did she say? She said... She's going to be a drinksmith and will never come back. What? How outrageous. I shall personally inquire of her. <sighs> Talk to lady. Oh, look us together. I'm curious, will this drink really work? It's mixing beverages so fun that you wouldn't want to go home. Yikes! I beg your pardon, I did not intend to keep it concealed from you. I merely wish to bring you a surprise. I have heard of a drink or a, 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 a skilled drinksmith at the lounge, and I decided to play a, a, or play pay homage to your greatness. Hence I came here intending to learn how to craft delicious beverages. Please, I implore you, do not be angered with me. During your expedition, I gathered numerous accounts detailing your magnificent achievements. Behold, which great hero led the Sweet Dreams troop to triumph against the Trash Can Kingdom? This guy's been watching too much drama. Bro, this... Oh my god. This... Who... This guy needs to learn how to write a better script. Which hero trampled the presumptuous title of beneath their feet and raised the banner of freedom and equality? We inquire, who is it? The soda bottles reply, it is his, or it's his excellency, Marshal TikTok. We inquire, who is it? The billboards reply, it's his excellency, Marshal TikTok. We inquire, who is it? The entire dreamscape, or replies the entire dreamscape, it's his excellency, Marshal TikTok. Me too, me too. I just wrote a poem for you, please enjoy it. Behold the renowned General TikTok in his or in battle invincible, wisdom profound. Or wait, in battle invincible, wisdom profound, valiant and skilled, a warrior's might, conquering his foe Tadalov with his valorous light. <laughs> Such a uh, adulation! I was unaware that my renown had spread so far and wide. Yet it is only befitting. However, let me enlighten you. That drinksmith is unsuitable. She is but an orphan I took in. She may tend to the tables, yet her ability to create anything of interest is doubtful. If you doubt my words, you... Uh, good evening, Mr. TikTok. Looks like you failed to take heed of the lesson I taught you. When you speak, bow your head, extend your hands, and look up to me. How often have I instructed you to... Or, or you to display courtesy to the guests? But have you ever complied... I, I beg your pardon for my transgression. <laughs> she would never fucking say that. I, I newly arrived at the lounge, and I'm unfamiliar with the rules here. I implore your pardon. Just how much are you afraid of Saban? Alas, debating with such an ill-bred servant is a waste of time. Well, bring me beverages and showcase the extraordinary talents of the personal drinksmith in the esteemed service of Sir TikTok, the illustrious one. In truth, upon learning of your return for your expedition, I prepared a commemorative beverage for your excellency. Not bad at all. Go forth and announce with honor. What shall this glorious beverage be named? The Defeated Governor. 
<gasps> what? Are you being sarcastic? Please calm your ire. The name was chosen to make a statement. The beverage was inspired by your resplendent countenance. The black layer at the base signifies a fierce and savage battlefield. The white layer at the top denotes despair. And the blue layer in the middle represents your composure and unyielding resolve. <laughs> oh my god. Even when you stand as a sole survivor, you retain the will to forge a path uh, through the darkest or through the darkest wilderness. Well said. Look, even the drinksmith I took in is well cultured. Learn from her, my servants. Hey, newcomer, find a befitting seat for me and bring me my beverage. Hurry. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a text message. Surrounded? Wolf, that alarm clock took the bait. It's going to drink that beverage. Thankfully, I'm, I'm good at pretending. He almost let us slip. I don't, or I do want to make him mad. I did nothing wrong, Wolf. Hey, it's a rugged piece of metal with a bigger head. And it thinks it's nobler than everyone here. Ah! Knock it flat. Let, and let's play kick the can. I'll get Kirby in here. Come and help us, newbie drinksmith. Ah, how should we deal with it next? I can't wait to start the fun. How much, or how much having the stir stick into its spring hole and spinning it hard? I, I, I'm all fired up! Great minds think alike. Ah, speaking of who can make my heart skip a beat, it's good, it's gonna be you! And now for the moment for vengeance is at, or now the moment for vengeance is at hand. We'll just wait for the curtain to rise. That beverage on the counter, or is on the counter across the room. I've added some special ingredients to it. Making it drunk for a couple hours won't be a problem. It's time to teach the disobedient child a lesson. However, this is only its imagined world. Your actions may be hindered, but let's play by ear. This must be the drink that Sivan tampered with. Wait, two glasses? Well, I'll take them both. I'll take them both? Too sluggish. What kind of way does indulge in self wins during work hours? Show some respect. Where are your matters? Show deference in light of my presence. Bring me my drink. Uh, huh? Why two glasses? Can't you even tell the colors apart? I must recall which one or which drink is the one Saban specifically prepared. The bottom layer black. Middle layer white. Oh, no, 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 uh, blue, blue. And then top layer white. That's the drink. Now I should deliver it. Aha! A beverage of extraordinary taste. This exemplifies the essence of respect and affection. Look at the beverages you, mix, you mixed before. Have they, or could they ever aspire to grace an honored patron's goblet? Wait, why am I feeling this sleepy? Is this drink too potent? This can't be... I'm the... You awake? Haha, <laughs> look at that pitiful look on your face. You've been acting all high and mighty here. But guess what? You're just a nobody in this lounge. And you had the uh, er, and you had the audacity to call me your wife? Huh, who in the right mind would marry a fool like you? Definitely not me. Ta-da! Here comes the drama of vengeance. You... You were just playing along, but... Isn't this my dream? So why? I'm the owner of Dream Drill Hostelry, and I prepared all those drinks. I'm sure you understand now, right? Did I treat you too gently before? Or have you entered your your or have you entered your rebellious phase? How dare you say that you plucked me from an inn? You've got some nerve. Oh, Sivan looks or Sivan looks so scary when she's angry. I never spoil misbehaving kids. They need to face the consequences. Tampering them, or wait, tampering, or is I tampering? <laughs> God, I, like, I don't know why. Like my mind is like, bleh. pampering, uh, them is the worst way to teach them. Remember that. I'll leave the rest to you. Just don't go overboard. 
Ah ha ha! Uh, I've been waiting for this. Could you please bring me the stirring stick? I've been wanting to try it out for for quite a while. The subsequent material is not suitable for viewing. The perf this performance ends here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm sorry. I should have bullied other monsters or teased them out. I was just talking nonsense. It was all just a joke. No, stay away from me. Just a prank, bro. Well. Honestly, Tim motherfucker just... Oh, Tim motherfucking deserves it. Uh, your dream is seriously wild. It's all my fault. I I'm so sorry. The drink you made was tasty and the whole vibe here was awesome. I'm totally loving this place. And I'll definitely come back again. Well, I'm taking my leave. See ya. What's making him so scared? Something's not right. I should follow him outside and check things out. Wolf, be careful with the new radio I just found, and don't even think about touching it. Ha ha ha, don't worry, look, my hands are puny and feeble, I won't wreck it. I want to hear the sound you mentioned, too. <laughs> It'd be really quick, okay? Hey there, I've come all the way to... Wolf, a batter baddie is coming. I used to be such an annoying troublemaker, I'm so sorry. Wolf, did I hear that right? This big guy doesn't have a brain then, that's for sure. Let's leave him and or let's leave him be and have fun. Looks like his problem or looks like his problem is resolved for now. Let's hope he can get along with the other monsters in the future too. Oh Celio? Or Silo? Your door attendant too. Look at how tall you are, standing all high and mighty. Has your brain gone rusty from being so high in the sky? Oof. Huh. Uh, as you're not- Oh. Oh shit, we're- Bro. Oh. Okay, so with the camera, it- it, it basically angle it so it emulates a first person perspective. Oh that's oh that's cool and then like you turn around you just go back to your you can just see yourself in third person. <laughs> that's silly. Huh. As you're not standing over me while we talk, I guess we can make conversation. I wanna know I want to know what you think about this lounge. I like this place. It's not too loud and there aren't too many of those tall idiots bragging about their height. This big brute won't bully those two little monsters. They look like they get on, or get on well. This is a rare sight. I'll go ask the uh, Pepeshi Club administrator if they want to come here for a team building event. It's not easy to find a place that everyone is happy with. Uh, they don't like places with lots of outsiders. Shall I let you know? Uh, wait. Shall I let you know when I hear something or the drinksmith? Nah, forget it. I'll talk to you. I know you won't pressure me too much. That's more of an issue on your end, isn't it? Quit your nonsense. I'll not try to reason with people taller than me. I'm always right. It's... Okay. Oh. Automated machines for service. Are they truly capable of possessing souls, experiencing pleasure, and appreciating art? Perhaps I should reflect upon myself during my stay here. Alright, the music here is perfect for a conversation. What would you like to discuss? I want to know what you think about monsters. Before my arrival in Penacony, I heard there, I heard that there are automated machines designed for amusement in the dreamscape. They're obedient and always do the job well. However, tools are tools and they'll never replace human beings. I've owned most things here, but those automated orchestras what they produce is not music, but soulless cacophony. As for the monsters in the lounge, well, I admit they presented me with a new perspective on the on the automated machines. In a way, they can be considered beings with a similar perception of the world as we do. So, how about the automated orchestra? That's a touchy subject. I need to think more about it. But until I come to a conclusion, I won't change my distaste for it. Look, I'm saying all this because my love for music will never change. Ooh. 
That alarm clock was a pain, but now he seems quite prudent when he's calmed down. Almost ready. Time to open for business. So wait. So once again, JP FGO April Fool's event relates to the main story, and we're never gonna get it in NA. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Alright, Station of Freedom. Yellow and green. Woo, alright. Oh wait. And like how the other one was a baseball game, this is a soccer game for FGO. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I saw a picture about that. All right, I need, we need it. So we need to top it off with a soothing soda. But before that, Yeah, I know, that's fucking bait. Alright, another one down. Got my revenue is in shambles right now because I intentionally fucked up. So, while well, most of it's going on of what's going on is a joke, turns out it, this is a, just a dream that Gouda is having. But then Oberon laid a dream in it expecting it to turn into Gouda's greatest fear. Oh, what the heck? That's fucked. You know, we can't understand each other. Despite our efforts to communicate, our paths are destined to remain apart. If that's the case, what purpose does language serve? Is our desperate cry for understanding merely an exercise in futility? Tell me, strange drinksmith, do you hold an answer? Many things are doomed to futility. Uh, seeking, s or seeking answers to such questions is akin to waiting at a station for a ship that will never arrive. Let it go. Let's simply have a drink. Only the warmth of that liquid can offer solace to my tormented soul. So wait, and said fear is Liz, fuse with you Ogo's authority, and the power of the big boss fight of a lost belt. Oh wait, wait, laid an egg. Oh wait, lost belt seven. Oh, is Liz? Huh. Please give me a small glass of tears. I just wish to quietly savor the intense bitterness that life has brought me. If you happen to, and I do mean happen to have some decoration that can remind me of the audience back at the theater, please put it on. I'd like to see it. Thank you. A decoration that represents Penacone. I'll have to pick one carefully. You know what? I'll just do this right and then fuck up the decoration. <laughs> so, small. Bitter, strong, and Penacone. And a lemon. How 
unfortunate. The world kisses me with pain and uh, yet expects the tip in return. Looks pretty. It kind of does. Uh, passionate emotions are transient. The glass is empty, yet the void in my heart remains unfilled. Thankfully, this delightful drink has uh, made us acquaintances. You know, before I came to this lounge, I was a struggling actor relegated to countless minor roles. Plagued by desolation, no direction, no income, and no self-esteem. Regrets have permeated, uh, wait, permeated my life. Do you think I can still discover happiness? What is happiness? Ah, fuck it. Uh, a piercing question indeed. Happiness is but a facade, with the world oblivious to the pain and suffering uh, concealed beneath. Unlike a character in a play, confined to mimicking the words of others, I can't change the situation or myself. The past continues to haunt me. Even in this paradise, the dreadful nightmare persists. And the sadness within me, or er, within me, never fades. It's not something a few drinks can wash away, but... Go on. Uh, it's impolite to expose my wounds without permission. It's better to share sorrows, experience joys, and bid farewell appropriately. Better make an order first. Please give me something in a large glass, as thick as you can make it. Tastes a little intense and, more importantly, a little more love, please. With some love you mentioned. Once I was fervently obsessed with plays, dreams woven from vibrant costumes and makeup. Unfortunately, my love became lost in the past. Based on its habits, it probably means it wants a decoration related to cartoon characters. Alright, I gotta fuck up one more time just for the just for the achievement. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Uh Honestly, that image drink looks neat. Look at the layers. That's not the flavor I ordered. Is it too much to ask for even a drink that quenches my thirst? Despite the sorrow clouding my heart, uh, your kindness and drink mixing mastery have deeply impressed me. <clears throat> uh, farewells always carry a tinge of bitterness, but please, do not lament our encounter. Melancholy's mood doesn't seem to be getting any better. But it feels like it's trusting me has deepened. After fucking up its drink? Bro. If I dude, if a bartender was giving me fucked up drinks for an achievement, I'd fucking be pissed. Ugh, oh, my tips. Uh hello there. Here we meet again. The melancholy customer just left. <laughs> Why so serious? You've been a drink smith for quite a while, and I'm sure you know better than to speak your mind. Well, I came or came to see you because I heard something interesting and wanted to share it. Think he's accustomed to disappointment? <laughs> Aww. Well, if you're not interested, then forget it. Oh, I love gossip. Hey, great. But I'm feeling a bit thirsty now. Could you make me a drink first? This time, I want an uplifting, refreshing drink that I like. Don't add too much ice. I've been feeling under the weather recently. I, re I remember she used to ask for a lot of ice cubes. So, she doesn't need ice cubes this time because she hasn't brought up any embarrassing topics? Okay. About... Vintage. Less ice. And then... Uplifting. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. Oh, wait, no, fuck. Eh, hey, okay, no, no, I don't think I can do this with just three. I think I need to do two. Hey, Stoffel. 
versus Rising got patched, Anilla became top tier. <laughs> I saw the Anilla buffs. Let's go. Dash M is actually usable. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go. Ton of bad all over people. Uh, let's see. We'll do. Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, wait. Okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot to stir the thing. Shit. So... Ice, Blossom, and then Red. Oh, wait, do I need to... Oh, I need to mix the... Oh, I need to mix it like that first. I'm dumb. Oh no, I need to make it... Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck it, what will... Wait, does it matter if we maintain the... Oh, it doesn't? Oh, you just need to mix it at that much. You don't need to maintain it. After... Uh... Also, I, d I didn't make it refreshing. Shit. Alright, whoops. Uh, I think I need Ice Soul Glad. And then this one. Stir that shit. Wait, why'd I do that? Could have put Dream Jam and then. <laughs> Actually, do I need five? Hmm. Huh. Then So we, we need to overall just balance it within three. Or I can just say fuck it and go Omega Lazy. <laughs> three shots of energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is so dumb. Hype this girl up. Uh, this tastes amazing. You still understand me so well. If only you could stay here forever, by my side. Well now, or er, well now that I finished my drink, it's time to share that interesting story with you. Actually, I stumbled upon a Sivan secret by chance. What kind of secret? Hey, <laughs> the kind of secret that would pique anyone's interest, of course. I was one wandering around the hotel in the dreamscape when I spotted a gorgeously dressed lady searching for something. It's rare to come across an outsider in this place, so I followed her for a while. Then I overheard her murmuring something like, 
She wanted to hang out with uh, Sivan, but had been turned down multiple times. So, so she decided to come straight to the lounge. She even said Sivan would definitely offer her or uh, accept her offer this time. It's as if they've known each other for ages. If you were in that lady's shoes, would you keep trying to contact Sivan? Thank you for your invitation. I wouldn't give up until I got what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I like about you. I should have the same attitude. I'm sharing this with you because I'm also ha holding on to many secrets, and I'm hesitant to reveal them. But then again, I'm too timid, and those words get stuck in my throat and get swallowed back. Uh, should I ask him out and boldly express my feelings to him? Seize the chance! Uh, but it's not that simple. I like to bother you, or I like to bother you to make a drink that's just very slightly bitter in a small glass and has to taste really mellow. Just a little ice will do. Just like my current mood. Upset. Uh, oh, oh. Is she worrying about something related to melancholy? Let's start by making ice cubes. You spend plenty of energy trying to chisel the ice into a neat cylindrical shape, only to find out that it won't fit in the glass. Alright, small, less, bitter and mellow, very mellow. Honestly, if you, if you mix this... Eh. Yeah, let's do the fluff ball. Fantastic! This drink is exactly what I wanted. You truly understand me the best. Talking to you has made me feel much better. It seems your talent for conversation matches your skill in mixing drinks. If only I could chat with him as effortlessly as you do. Nevertheless, I must take action. I'll come up with a plan. Wait for my good news. Uh-oh. Lady decides to find melancholy. I hope the or public conversation just now can help it make up its mind. It was quite willing to share its inner thoughts with me. No other customers now. I'm a bit tired. Let's call it a day. Woo! Woo! Hello there! Woo! 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 Are you simple or something? What's happening? A real or what's happening? A real person here? I thought Sabah would uh, put a drink mixer here. Do I look like a drink mixer to you? Yeah, right. You could even find talking billboards in the dreamscape. Who knows if you're a real person or not? There's a noisy dice and a stupid alarm clock. Once you've seen too many animated objects, you'll struggle to tell them apart from real people. So it brings you here. Drinks, of course. Didn't Saban tell you? Bring me a glass of Paper Moon. Since you want to be a drinksmith here, let's see what you're made of. Uh, you're a big shot at the lounge, I guess. There's no status difference here. But it's true that I usually take care of the others. I want a glass of paper moon, don't forget. His words always imply something. Saban never mentioned that Starlet uh, could be so difficult to get along with. Hacking, paper moon, we can't escape FGO. Mini wine, glass, and then ice, blossom, and milk. And Epeshi Fluffball. Not bad at all. Now I see Saban did find someone decent to take her place. What does Saban tell you? To fix us up? You've been working here for a while. So what do you think of those monsters? Are you exclu excluding yourself? I know exactly what I am. I don't need you to remind me. They look pretty unique. 
although they're a bit eccentric and have their own emotional problems, they can be quite adorable once you get used to them. Is that what you're thinking now? Don't believe anything I say anyway. Forget it, you won't give an answer even if I asked. Humans are all good at lying, and their words don't hold any water. You asked first. Huh. Make me another drink, in an extra large glass. Dreamy. Extra, er, wait, dreamy with a thick texture. Is this request too difficult for you? Feels like he's not just here for a drink, but more like he's testing me. Activate the drink smith simulator. Alright. Extra large. We need... We're gonna need more ice for this shit. Alright, dreamy. Slightly sweet. And a little on the strong side. And we need to make it thick. So wait, two, plus one. So I need a minus, or no, I need a plus two for thickness right here. And then one, one. Yeah, no, this ain't, uh, like, visually, this ain't it. But, I mean, it's what you want, so alright. And a lemon. And a no, no. And a no. Robin. Nah, none of this shit works. No garnish for you. I'm just gonna take the lemon. It's indeed the flavor I was hoping for. Your drink smith. Or, your drinksmith skills are more impressive than I expected. Well, making dr making great drinks is not all about managing this lounge. There are, or, there are way more problems to deal with here than you expected. Soon you'll know what I mean. Scarlet's behaving, behaving normally. It just doesn't seem to like me. Suspicious, extremely worried, doesn't trust anyone. Wants to get closer but keeps hovering on the periphery. Sc or Starlet's mood or Starlet's behavior is very normal. It's logical and its mood is stable. The only downside is that it, is that it dislikes me. It's probably test visiting to test the waters with me, right? Being a drinksmith is actually exhausting. How does the bond manage to keep it keep at it for so long? Huh? They're still at the lounge. Is there anyone else around here? How you doing, Tim Man? Hey, nod your head and give a bow. A night with customers makes me feel wow. Welcome to the Dream Drill Hostelry. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your hard work uh, mixing drinks. As you suggested, I'm standing by the door and keeping an eye out. Why is it Mr. Bigwig at the door? Huh, they're just a so glad uh, delivery man. Oh, they know a bit about being a door attendant. They're not, or they're not like me. They don't have a loud and clear voice. They aren't tall and mighty. Capable of leaving a lasting impression. If only I had a tuxedo on, I'd be perfect. Rest assured, there'd be no problems in this lounge. If they, if there are, there'll only be small ones. Wait, bro, the orchestra conductor is here having drinks with his instruments. Serene the pianist sits on a velvet cushion, his countenance remaining tranquil as still water. A faint smile adorns his face as he gazes into the distance. Party hard. Perhaps a whimsical scene evokes his memories of joyous moments shared with friends. Or perhaps he simply harbors a deep fondness for those amusing monsters, immersing himself in the cozy ambience of the lounge. Only music knows the answer. Without, or, uh, like, without, without speaking much, the pianist gives you a gentle gesture. I want to know what you think about monsters. A low voice amid the sharp beat of a drum suddenly resonates in your ears. Dr <laughs> from the drum kit. Those imbeciles. 
There are spineless worms who don't even have the guts to fight back against the mistreatment they endure. Humans don't deserve any trust, except for Max, of course. But those fools just remain blind to this fact until the very day they're abandoned. But now they seem to be happy. So let's live the life here. Or let, let, let live. Let's hope the life here will last long. Oh my god. He's with the whole yeah, he's with the whole entire orchestra and they're all just having drinks. Like the the cello up there is just vibing, like just look at it rocking back and forth on the on the velvet cushion. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> oh Well, hey there. It's a bit awkward, but I need to ask you a favor. Uh, I'm the most caring dreamsmith here. Oh, I'm really fond of your gentle of your gentle type. Alas, if only he could be as caring as you are. It's well, it's. I have no idea, or I have no idea why she asked me to stay here. This is just depressing. Why is it always me? There's so many other monsters, but she asked me to sit alone in this corner after business hours. Is she trying to bully me or something? And tomorrow should go around spreading, him, or spreading my embarrassing story and ostracize me, right? Like, come on, you actually thought uh, receiving a note meant someone was confessing their love to you? Or that fool actually fell for it. You just see the nervous and expectant look in his face. Priceless. Uh, what's the point of making such jokes? I'm not trying to bully you, I just want to... <laughs> what's going on here? I should talk to them separately and find out what they really think. Oh boy. It's... it's... you know. I wanted to ask him help, but I don't know uh, how to go about it. Just... uh... Just be honest and tell them how you feel. I don't get a chatting with people I don't care about. When it comes to someone I do, how can I say something so embarrassing? Ugh. What about me? Yeah, he said you being jealous of something. <laughs> uh, you know this feeling. Hey, Froob, how you doing? Think about it. All the monsters here are like you. Isn't it amazing to have such or so much happiness all at once? You're deep in the SU minds. Uh, good luck, Froob. May run, may bless your runs. I'm just, well, I'm just used to saying things that make people blush. When it comes to the moment of truth, I just can't speak out what I really want to say. Oh. Thankfully, you dislike Swarm, so you have a ton of jades still in that. Uh, yeah, Swarm is rough. I've gotten most of the jade out of that, but I am not, like, oh. I'm not doing like 100% completion of Swarm, it's just, yeah, it's like slow and also is a pain in the ass when you actually do high difficulty. You have to get the god start, otherwise there's no point. <laughs> Even with strong teams it's so slow. Yeah, they like, the monsters scale up really hard in Swarm and Golden Gears. At the very least with Golden Gears, you can scale hard enough to pretty much one-shot everything if you get decent enough luck. In Swarm, not so much. You haven't touched Conundrum? Oh yeah, I did Conundrum. Woo, eh. uh, j just take the occurrence dice and just replicate all the reward rooms and just give yourself 40 blessings. <laughs> if you can't set that up, time to reset the run. Hey there, don't you have some awesome powers? Can you dive into my heart and see what's blocking me? Oh, okay, okay. I'll... Sure, I'll help you solve your problems. So wait, you're... Oh, I didn't read the other message. You're 5 to 10 off for an LC, and you just got Akron? Oh. Uh, I hope I can get enough Jade from all the stuff that I'm doing right now. Uh, just to get Acheron. I failed my 50-50 and got Himiko, and I'm just like, really, really sad. 
I'm still like like I said before, I'm still paying for my insane 50-50 luck streak early in, and I'm still paying for it. Or I'm I'm gonna be paying for it for a long time. Ugh. Every time I see them, I get super nervous. If I reveal my true feelings so easily, won't I seem too impatient? My heart is pounding. I want to chat with them, but the words won't come out. wondering but never get an answer. I want to be reassured. Uh, is this supposed to be symbolic? Finally, I got up I got up the courage to invite them to stay in the lounge. I do. I can't even utter a word. Ah, you found my true heart. All right, all right. Just stop pretending. It's easy to get hurt if you just tell others what's in your heart. Anyway, thanks for helping me figure out my true feelings. I won't run away anymore. Huh. Alright, now for Melancholy. It's so frustrating. Why do they have to make fun of me? Isn't there already enough sadness in the world? What a world, if I had nowhere to go. Or, I had nowhere to go. And now that I finally found a peaceful place, they want to bully me. Haha! <laughs> there, there. I know it's awkward, but I can't. Sh I just can't shake off my grief. I gotta figure out a way to calm him down. Let's delve into his inner world. I'll help you. Oh, oh. Nobody likes me. I'm just a standing joke. I'm feeling so cold, so lonely. I try to disappear only to realize that nobody cares at all. Aww. Someone's coming over. See? I'm coming for you. Miss Drinksmith, how'd you get in here? I work in mysterious. <laughs> I don't think this is a good thing to say. I work in mysterious ways. You, an ordinary person. You're my superhero. It it's so touching. Uh, ah! I'm not feeling so sorrowful anymore. Look, even my wings are starting to flutter. They, they, they've always been fluttering, though. Life feels full of joy since I met you. The tragedy is finally ending. The comedy is about to begin. Don't forget that someone's waiting for you. Really, but how can that be? No, no, I should stay positive. I gotta remind myself that everyone likes me. Maybe not to that extent. Yeah, let's go toward a sweet future. Oh, oh boy.
Oh man, new drinks. Oh god. Then I'll take my leave, alright? Thank you, you've been so kind. Alright, alright, enough of the... <laughs> enough of the PDA. Hey, <laughs> a gentle person like you would be popular wherever you go. If you ever feel lonely, I'll ask you out next time. Wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on. I thought this whole deal was for melancholy. Wait, 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 wait. But for now, please give us your blessing. Not long after the lounge had returned to calmness, cries for help. Wait, I'm not inviting you. Yikes, please, please someone help us. I cry for help. It is coming from outside the lounge? What's going on? I leave them for a few seconds. What happened? Oh. Ah, uh, I don't want to die just yet. I just decided to live a happy life from now on. I don't want. C calm down, darling. I I'll protect you. Ah. Uh. Woof. Get back to your senses. You, you don't recognize us. Ah. Uh. Woof. I will. I will let you harm them. Uh, help, help, new drink smith. Starlet has lost his mind. Oh. Uh. Mind your manners. An elusive foretelling. Ill fate descends. Stand still. Eternal. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Relax. Memories are ever changing. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Wolf, uh, wake up! What happened? How could this be? How? Even... <sighs> Even the wisest thinker among us has lost his sanity. As I thought, it is, indeed, er, it is indeed that happiness is transient while sorrow seems everlasting. Who can tell me? If we are doomed for ruin, why were we brought into this illusory sweet dream in the first place? No, Sofo, no! Cease! You was fine the last, the last time we met. Why don't they suddenly become frenzied? I should, I should inform Savan about this as soon as possible. What should we do? You're a smart one, New Drinksmith, so there must be something you can do. Let's bring him back to the lounge first. Wolf, I'll lend a paw. Aww. Uh, Wolf? Looks like he's okay. He's a regular at the lounge, but why did he lose his mind all of a sudden? Will I end up like that someday? That's scary. Uh, we all we all meet our destined end someday. Wolf, why isn't Saban here at a time like this? What is she doing, Wolf? Uh, I've told her about it. Mm. <laughs> I'll go back for now, Wolf. As for you, new drinksmith, stay safe, alright? The monsters all left the lounge one after another, and not long after that. I have received your message. How are the monsters doing? You tell us about what happened in the hotel in the dreamscape when you mentioned the frenzy monster, you notice that she doesn't seem all that surprised. Instead, a touch of fatigue appears on her calm face as if she's been experienced, expecting it. Woo! Wait, oh, don't tell me you actually linger- Okay, no, here we go. I just checked on him. Nothing serious. Hell, we're getting his senses soon. I'm sorry, I didn't see it coming. Thank you for your help. Are you hiding something from me? Ah, chill out, I just came back. And I'm a bit tired. You're a skill drink smith, so how about whipping up a drink for me? Let's start with you. What would you like to know? True... No... Purpose of this lounge. 
Hey, don't rush things. The answer to your question is way too nuanced. How am I supposed to answer them in one go? I feel a little parched. Make me a refreshing drink, and keep it mild. I'll leave the rest to you. I trust your mixology skills. Refreshing, very few flavors. Oh, wait, 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 what did I do too? Yeah, <laughs> sure. And a mint. Huh. Taste of the drinks you always make. Or wait. Taste of the drinks you make always bring back memories. You didn't secretly use your magical ability on me, did you? Why not take a guess? No? Maybe you can try using it on me and see if it works. Nah, just kidding. I say that because as long as I sit opposite or opposite you, I'd feel super relaxed like I'm in a warm, cozy dream. Unfortunately, dreams don't last forever. Just like this hotel. I'm sorry, I should have explained everything about this dream drill hostelry better. Those monsters didn't show or don't show aggression most of the time because of your drinks. The drinks offered here can stabilize their emotions, helping them resist the nightmare corruption to some extent. Did you prepare these drinks on purpose? Of course, it took me a lot of effort to gather the ingredients. Luckily, my efforts paid off. Without those special drinks, those monsters will lose their sanity and start attacking everything around them until, until they're beyond recovery. Even with my drinks, they still descend into a frenzy from that time to time, and it's happening more frequently now. The entire dreamscape is collapsing, and we're just futilely trying to delay its impact like pouring cold water into a pot just about to boil over. The situation of this lounge is far from promising. So that's why Starlet became frenzied? Well, their situation is a bit different. They have experienced too many tragic events, so they're naturally wary of strangers in the lounge. Don't be fooled by their mature look. Deep down, they're still a dependent kid. They're just too wary to completely, to completely trust you right away, so don't take it personally. I'm sure they'll open up and show their true feelings once you two become more familiar with each other. As for me, well, soothing emotions is what the family is used to doing, so there's nothing too complex about that. You used to be their administrator. Yeah, I mentioned that before, but not anymore. The Sweet Dreams troop members are props, uh, wait, are props entertaining the guests. No guest would want to hang out with a bunch of monsters that can go wild at any moment. So I lost my job and, and could only stay in this lounge, taking care of these quirky kids. To me, they're like my family, and I'm not leaving them behind. You've gotten so good at mixing drinks, maybe I can trust you with this lounge. As the dreamscape collapses faster, more monsters will go frenzied. The drinks we whip up will only calm them down temporarily, and we have no idea when this whole mess will end. But, uh, are you feeling tired? Perhaps. Sometimes I can't help but wonder what my true desire is. Life isn't simple even in a dream, and hard work doesn't always pay off. That's just how the world works. I've got some troubles I need to sort out. Please take care of those kids while I'm gone. I hope you enjoy it here. Wolf, this way, come this way, I got something, I got something to talk to you about. Actually, any new people around here? Uh, no, NPCs have moved around. Okay. Uh, Wolf, don't you think Sabana's been acting suspicious lately? Or suspiciously lately? She's never around the lounge these days. Where is she gone? I'm curious too. I knew you'd feel the same way. As you know, Savannah is an amazing woman, so we've been wondering. Since she's been uh, been away a lot lately, could it be that she doesn't want us anymore? We've been a, a pain in the neck lately, I've caused a lot of, er, and have caused a lot of trouble. 
maybe she's not into us anymore. It's always, er, she always says she's busy with something, but never spills the beans. I don't think of it. Sabana's never mentioned what she's busy with. Hey, new drinksmith. Let's go outside and find Saban. It'd be great if we could uh, help her out, Wolf. I need to finish my work at the lounge for... Uh, 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 oh. Where should we start? Wolf, let me make some preparations and figure out where Saban might be. It's a deal, Wolf. I promise to look after... Er, I promise them to look after Saban. But I need to finish lo lounge work first. If I remember correctly, Starlight is the only one who's still troubled by his problem, right? I need more water. <sighs> Alright, let me go mix some more drinks first. Rose in Rain. Wait, this looks like a cool drink. Oh my goodness. It looks like two parts of odd concoction. One part, this one. Yeah. The bottom part looks very appealing. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh, Robin. Huh. Ah, uh, I give this. I give this a shot to try. <laughs> I, I I just really like the colors. I mean, that's like the the biggest point of it. But super size, no ice. Imagine sunrise. Oh. That... Wait, what, what's the champagne look like? Wait, what's this one look like? This is gonna mix very lightly. Yeah, and okay now, so we would need... I think we need odd concoction. And then... No, no, would this be too light? Let me think. Okay. No, that does not match the color. I think it'd be rejuvenating an odd concoction. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then dream jam. And then a little bit of champagne to top it all off. Yeah, I drank that. Wait, what do you mean, hint? We got the permission to proceed. We've never seen the sunrise, but we still pine for the light. Look at Mihoyo developing everyone's drinking habits through this minigame. <laughs> So we have like a yellow green, then a blue green, and okay. Or actually, wait. Oh god, that is bright as hell. Yeah, that works. And then clocky. Even the even the most bitter past would be left in that world of reality. All right, and then revenue. Yeah, I want off from this one because I intentionally messed up for the achievement. Uh, we can claim this all at the same time later. Oh, what's going on here? Wait. He can still hit it! I can't help but cry watching this story. I'll, I'll always let out a cheer for true love. Look, it's such a perfect match. I can't help but admire and envy them. 
My true love, I met her long ago, but where is she now? What do you think about me? <laughs> what do you think about this lounge? I love this place. It's got a sweet aroma to it. That mysterious drinksmith. She has a similar charm and kindness as my beloved. Yet, she is heroic and bold. Uh, bold too. It is a shame that my heart has already been taken and I have no space for another. Ah, you know what? Oh wait, oh, the news anchor's here actually. Uh, now that's interesting. The story of these monsters would make great news articles. Not only can the Dream Joe troop interact with humans, they even offer performances. It seems that the legendary drinksmith is indeed an impressive woman. I should invite her for a special feature interview on my program. Let me think. I don't have the time, but... Uh, wait. I probably don't have time, but speak quickly. I snuck out of here to have a look. What do you think of her? I want to know your thoughts on Saban. Uh, Saban, that's the name of the mysterious drinksmith, right? I heard a number of things about her. Her background is complicated. If you want to know the specifics, then you should ask around for yourself. Either way, I know that she holds a lot of renown within the family. The Iris family, if I remember correctly. You can't... You cannot tell anyone that you heard this from me. Oh. Lady and Melancholy are really close. Lots of people are fond of their performances. I wonder how Starla is doing. Will you show up today? As curious as I am, I should get the business started first. Alright. It's time to drink. Time to mix. Greetings. I'm here for a drink. And this time I'd like... I'd like... My visit here won't cause you any trouble, will it? Spill it! No, just kidding. What would you like? Okay, I want an extra large glass that's sweet and has plenty of color. Thanks for the trouble. Why do you want so many layers? Pardon me. It's my pursuit of beauty. Oh, I'll love, you. I'll love to see how you, how you talk with our gente. In my opinion, vibrant and bright things are beautiful, while chaotic and monotonous things are ugly. While Saban said I have to have to have a drink, I think it's more interesting. I had a touch of fun. Didn't expect it to be so become so serious after resolving its emotional or emotional issues. All right, extra large. We'll go with the wine glass. No fewer than three color layers. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's go bright and vibrant for this. Let's have, let's have milk on the bottom. And then... Probably, let's see. Actually, what if you put champagne? Nah, nah, kind of like... Nah, 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 nah. We do this. Practitioner Pepper. Okay, okay. And then... Actually, what if we mix it? What does that look like? Nah, this just kind of looks murky more than anything. blue and then we top it off with how about what's like a good Let's see what's a good follow-up to the color blue here how about blossom do And maybe we should use less colors. <laughs> oh, whatever. I did my job. <laughs> uh, origami bird. Your mixing skills are as excellent as ever. I really enjoy this drink. My mind has become so clear since we last talked. <laughs> Is this what salvation feels like? To repay your kindness, I did something incredibly daring. 
I lied to that frenzied fool and told her that Saban had called them to the lounge. I believe they'll show up any minute now. I believe you'll be able to handle the situation when they arrive. I didn't realize you were so nice. I'm flattered. You guided me to the right path, so it's only natural to repay your kindness. <laughs> As a reward, can you make me another drink? This time I want a large glass with a strong taste and thick texture with a few more layers of color. Is this too much to ask for? If it's too much trouble, I'll change it right away. They've been so polite to me. I'll just fulfill this request. Move the mixer. Hey, your fingers are your fingers are really nimble. If you're free, can I trouble you to turn the pointer for me? Oh, oh da, da. its personality has really changed a lot. Okay. Large. Ice. Strong, thick, and three layers. Oh, is there? Oh, wait, no. There's no minus one, minus one, is there? Oh, there's no minus one, minus one for the... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, take it back. Hmm. Blonde, tall, gorgeous, and painfully... Oh, I'm not sure if we serve those drinks around here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see... I so glad. And then Fuck, wait, no, there's no 1-1. One, one. Oh, no, I should have done the... Oh, no, I should have done the other way around, right? Ah, heck. Oh, wait, no, no, the, oh, the two is only... Oh. Wait. Three layers. Okay, now maybe, maybe I shouldn't go too much into the refreshing side at first. How about soothing soda? Dream jam. Mix it. Okay, that's not gonna make a good color. <laughs> well, no, 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 that could work color wise. And then, oh, fuck. No, 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 I should use. Okay, no, no, no. Soothing and drink. Okay, wait, hold up. Stellar champagne to end it. Too late. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Let me see. Oh, right, right. It's neutral. Oh, <laughs> oops, wrong one. All right, what was it again? Uh, Dream Jam? Oh, no, not. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then mix it. Wait, 
Minus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Okay, there I go. Okay, <laughs> that should not have taken that long. Uh. And... Eh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think the lemon. Eh. Eh. Ah, just a minute. Aha! It's so delightful that it feels like all the gears in my body are shaking and every corner of my insides have been or has been lubricated. I'm feeling so satisfied. <laughs> Thank you for the treat. That fool will be here soon. Here's a piece of advice. When you're talking to them, try to make them reveal their true thoughts. What they say is completely different from what they really think. I hate that type. Unlike me, I never hide my fiery soul. Ha ha. I'll take my leave now. Good luck with the conversation. Oh. Alright, now that I've resolved all the other monsters' problems, it's time to have a chat with Starlet. That alarm clock was lying while Saban calling me over, right? Well, if you got something to say, then say it. Uh, how's your recovery going? Got nothing to do with you. Looks like we'll be talking for quite a while. Give me a drink first. The same one I ordered the first time. You still remember? Uh, uh I've forgotten about it. Because uh, I kind of intentionally messed it up for an achievement. Look at how foolish you are. I'll just tell you. It's Paper Moon. Don't get it wrong this time. Paper Moon, Paper Moon. Alright, so mini wine plus ice. Then ice. Awesome. And puffer. And Pepishy Fluff Ball. How's that stay on? Well, this is exactly what I wanted. And its flavor remains the same. You do seem to have a good memory. <laughs> After I asked for a. After I asked for a reminder, I actually recalled a lot of things. I ordered the same drink because Saban remembers the preferences of all the monsters here. She remembers clearly what flavors each monster likes and what requirements they have for the drinks. We may have quirky tastes that uh, even we ourselves don't recall the reason for, but she just remembers them. It's amazing. So were you just trying to test me? Huh, then do you remember what the other monsters like? Uh, spade? Spade likes... Decorations. No. Fuck. Wait, no. Uh Okay, wait, no, I got I got this, I got this, I got this. Spay. Think it wasn't layering. I don't think there was anything special. Oh. Yeah, they're emotionally unstable and can't remember complex things, and they're more most likely to throw a fit. They need to be treated like a kid, and sometimes they need a lesson. However, they're pure in character and can be just or can become happy just from getting their favorite drink. Melancholy. Melancholy likes decorations. Yeah, they used to be a disillusion actor. So deep, so deep in their role that they don't have any normal thoughts other than reciting lines that nobody can understand. Have they ever told you about their love? Well, it's actually a prop box from their... Wait, a prop box from their time in the theater, filled with beautiful jewelry. Not expensive, but a memento. Unfortunately, they lost that box when they got kicked out. Mr. Bigwig. Mr. Bigwig likes... Mm. Oh. Oh, no, I can't wait. Nothing special. Yeah, they're not picky about flavors. They're easygoing and the closest to Saban. And Lady. Lady likes... Ice cubes. 
Yeah, it loves saying things that could cause misunderstandings, but deep down, it's so shy that uh, it has to use ice cubes to cool down its circuits. He thought he hid those thoughts well, but everyone saw right through it. Don't ask, I remember it all vividly. This lounge hasn't been around for long, um, but it's already or, but it's already filled with so many memories. Where's Tin Man? Ah, that pompous alarm clock. Let's not mention him. But if someone tries to mess with this place, he's always the first one to jump in and stop the trouble. All kind of mundane, but looking back on it, it's fun. Oh, just look at me chatter or chattering away. Make me another drink, please. I want a drink that's large, very sweet, and tastes mellow. Best if it's refreshing. Perhaps I need to calm down. Large. Mellow refreshing. You know, if you need to calm down, I'll give you, I'm gonna give you more ice too. Now nah, we'll we'll top it off with puffer goat milk. Mellow and refreshing. Oh. Come on, puffer goat adds. No, no, I don't think I can add puffer goat. Then we'll have to do like Ice Soul Glad or something. Then. Ice Soul Glad. Or how we could just, <laughs> we could just top it all off with champagne. Let's go. Yeah! With lemon. It tastes great. I've been observing you for quite a while, and you're becoming more and more like a skilled drinksmith. Now that I've said so much, it's your turn now. A good drinksmith, uh, a good drinksmith shouldn't just listen. They should be able to guess what's on their customer's mind. You've been in this lounge for some time. What have you noticed? You really care about this lounge. Why do you say that? You've been testing me from the very beginning. You're sharp for a temporary drinksmith. What else have you figured out? Tell me. Actually, you didn't go frenzied back then, right? Go on. You were trying to scare me into leaving. Give me a large glass with a touch of brokenness and a hint of sweetness, but at the same time it needs to have a thick texture. I really want to try that now. Oh my god. Keep at it. Looks like I'm getting close to what they're really thinking. Okay, large with a vulnerable feeling. Minus one and strong. And then slightly sweet and thick. Yeah, all right. That vulnerable feeling. Ah, heck, I just put a mint leaf. 
Can't believe you've captured the essence of vulnerability so well. What does that mean? I like this flavor because there are a lot of things I can't get out of my head. As you know, we Sweet Dreams Troop are the creation of or are a creation of the family to entertain the guests. The work that Saban gave you was to calm us down, right? Seems you don't really understand what this goal really means to us. If you want the answer, come to the hotel in the dreamscape. It no longer trust it no longer no longer trusts any humans because it was hurt in the past. Starla doesn't have any emotional troubles, but how can I get it to accept me? I'll go or I'll go see what Saban is up to when I'm done here. Now I have to chat or now I need to have a chat with uh, Starlet. Hold on. Ah, I'm just off from getting the the, the monster tavern chat box. Oh, I'm gonna select the character. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get Gallagher because he's the only one I actually don't have. Despite all my pulls right now for Acheron, I've never pulled I've never pulled Gallagher yet. Oh, although part of me was so tempted to get the Starlights by pulling for a dupe, especially an E6 dupe for a free pull, but I know that's not the wisest decision to make. Alright, where are we going? You've come after all. Let's get it started. There's no point in repeated arguments. Um, as only facts can guide us through the truth. I've prepared a mind space for simulations. Watch closely and see what kind of life we Sweet Dreams Troop members are actually living. What would you choose if you were the one at the crossroads? Ready. He teleports me to a weird place. Is this the... Hotel on the dreamscape? This is a dream bubble. Of course I know that. Stalin isn't around. Where's his voice coming from? Dream bubbles appearing in the hotel is a sign that the dreamscape is collapsing. A nightmare is spreading, and the sweet dreams troop has been corrupted and become frenzied. For the family, this is a big problem that must be solved. However, for us, it might not be the same. What are you trying to apply? You must reach that room. Go experience it for yourself. Wait, that room? I've made a few uh, adjustments, and you'll appear in my form in the space. Remember, the sights may be false, but everything you're about to see did happen before. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't take it seriously when they put it in quotation marks for that room. <gasps> Look back at the monster's past. Wolf, let's play truth or dare. The person who get or who gets called must choose between truth or dare. Now, once you completed the challenge, you can select the next one. Wolf, who should we start with? The red room. <laughs> I prefer to be passive. I don't want to be the one who confesses first. You're not going to bully me, are you? Well, I know it's a vote, but I'm pretty sure you'll agree to pick on me. Ha ha ha! That's not how you play. Let's think of a way. Hey, <laughs> how about we start with that tin can? The big ones should give way to the smaller ones. Nothing wrong with that. God damn. Alright, let me show you how it's done. Watch this. So, truth or dare? I choose truth. That's no fun at all. <laughs> Alright, I'll ask you a question. Who are you most afraid of? Uh, Savan. Wolf, that's cheating. It doesn't count. Why not? It's my turn now. I'm going to pick... Hey, you. The red guy over there. Step out. I'm here. Did I call you? Go back. I mean, yeah, you. Uh, I'll choose you. Oh, me? Yeah, um... <clears throat> no, I'm asking. Who's your favorite one to be with? Hey, 
Uh, I haven't or I haven't said I choose truth yet, but fine. I guess you, I guess I can answer this question. My favorite is, well, you know. Uh, it's too embarrassing. I'll go with dare. All right then. Blink three times. That's simple. Then I'll start. Uh oh. Next song or next I'm going to choose. Huh? Who should I choose? Why are you staring at me? Are you, are you trying to bully me? Uh, I knew it always come to, or end up like this. <clears throat> hey, not at all. Huh? I'll go with the big guy over there. Yeah, are you choosing me? Why is she pointing at me? Wait, can she see me? Hey, yeah, you. Truth or dare? My choice is... Dare. Alright, I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask you to do this. Can you perform that trick again? That trick? Yeah, that trick. Come on, I can't wait. Well, let me give it a try. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this face? <laughs> oh my god. She's speaking the language of gods. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in ages. Awesome, I love seeing you like this. Woof, it's so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. It's true that making fun of others is what makes comedy, but still. <laughs> My stomach hurts from laughing so hard. How'd you come up with that trick? You really are something else. So what exactly did you do back then? You don't need to know the details. Seeing them laughing so hard is all you need to know. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here you will find two yours. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? Let's get straight to the point. The door on the left means yes, and the one on the right means no. Read me this. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? I, 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 am I supposed to be like thinking about the perspective from Starless perspective or? a happy life ever since we broke free from the family's control. Of course, the nightmare has left everyone emotionally unstable and conflicts have increased. But at least we don't have to worry for worry or fear anything. We're free now. We can decide what path we want to take. Now go back. You haven't reached the end yet. Oh my god, we're gonna take so long to do. A drink portrait. Anything over here? Nah. Oh, it's you. Metallic. What is wrong with you? Why should I keep your useless self around if you can't even roll the dice right? I'm sorry. I won't make this mistake ever again. D do you want... Big or small? You're asking me big or small? Are you really that stupid? Can't you see the situation on the table? If most guests bet on the big side, you roll small. Otherwise, roll big. Have you forgotten what I told you? Let the most miserable loser win uh, once every few rounds. If someone questions us, find an excuse about having a tummy ache. The banker doesn't have to win all the time, but must ensure nobody loses too much money. Do you remember now, buff er, do you remember now, you buffoon? Oh. Oh. Alright then. I I need to use the the bathroom. I'm asking you to lie to the guest, not to me, you fool. Bring me the whip. I'll and I'll make sure you never forget it. Oh. Well please don't do that. Scram, you stupid dog. 
All you do is chew on your stupid soda bottles. You can't even protect the house without causing losses. Get lost, now! But that's so scary. I can't bear to watch that, such brutal scenes. Let me cover your eyes. Master, maybe forget about it for a day. And do it some other time. Did I ask you anything? Oh, huh? did I? This is just a warning. One more word and you're gonna get it too. Man, and I thought this was like... Because like we saw this NPC on the streets like doing performances with like a random thing of ice cream. And I thought it was just like some silly strong man doing some performances. Okay, no, this guy is a total piece of shit then. I see. Ah, I'm in a bad mood, so I'll take it out on you. You were made for... <coughs> You were made for entertainment, but you can't do anything right and keep wasting my money. You're good for being my practice dummy. What's the point of owning you, you worthless pieces of junk? Why not I just smash you up and sell you for parts? Woohoo! Uh... Enough! Stop it! Can you hear me? Huh, so now you think you're some kind of hero, you big nitwit. You're gonna get it too. You think you're so smart, you think you've seen it all. Huh! Nonsense! As long as I'm in charge, I can punish you as much as I want. Don't even think about fighting back or getting help from anyone. I'll punish you until you're scared. You only listen when you're... Or you only listen when you're scared, right? You try to grab your trusty baseball bat, but it's nowhere to be found. The whip keeps hitting you, not really causing them much, or much pain, but the humiliation is so real. God, all this abuse. Say something. Are you just gonna stand there and watch them get hit? Do you really think you can erase the past and change the future just by yelling at these illusions in front of you? Like I said, you're the former me. Here we go. The same two doors as before. Losing your freedom and being at the mercy of others is painful. Do you want to escape that kind of life? Can we have a different scene for once? The one on the left means yes, the one on the right means no. Read me this. Losing your freedom and being at the mercy of others is painful. Do you want to escape that kind of life? Yeah. We led a miserable life when we served the family. We may be called the sweet dreams troop, but there's nothing sweet about our dreams. Now that you decided to help Saban and make us return to the sweet dreams troop, do you know what that means? We'll lose our freedom and be at the mercy of others again. Nobody cares about what mere tools like us think. Breaking free is the only way to find happiness. The nightmare may be a problem for the family, but for us, it's our only chance to escape. Even if it drives me into a frenzy, I'm willing to risk everything at this point. What about Saban? Now go back, you haven't fulfilled your duty yet. I want to speak to your administrator. I can't believe you lost my room card. My luggage is still in the lobby. Who's going to take responsibility if I'm delayed? Uh, uh, Wolf, please wait a moment. I'll go handle it for you. A moment? How long is that exactly? The family never waits when they're charging for our room and collecting or collecting money, but I have to wait? Time to feed that strongman a spike drink. <laughs> uh, oh god, yeah, that strongman's a piece of work, all right. I want to see the person in charge right now. No delays, no excuses, or there will be consequences. Wolf, but our administrator... <laughs> Can we maybe not involve the administrator? How about this? I'll go get the concierge uh, right away. It'll be quick, I promise. Are you telling me what to do? Shut up. I want the administrator now. I don't care what you do. Just get your administrator or else. Does this happen frequently? Very often. Pretty much every day. Let's stop here. I think you have your answer now. Do you think we should turn our or turn back into the Sweet Dreams troop? Is this the end? Oh. Alright, now that you have seen the real past, do you think we should return to the Sweet Dreams troop? The so-called normal life is nothing more than just slavery for us. To us, abnormality means freedom. 
If we can't enjoy the sweet dream, why not embrace the other side? Ooh. So what is your choice? Don't you already have an answer? Perhaps. Weird, why am I back here again? What are you waiting for? How much longer do you expect me to wait? I apologize for keeping you waiting. I'm the administrator here. So please let me know how I can help you today. You're the one? You might look respectable, but you can't even teach your tools how to do things right. Are you too st uh, too stupid or too incompetent to manage this, to manage this junk? Uh, I apologize for all the trouble caused. The Iris family is willing to compensate you. Compensate me? Can you even afford it? With your measly salary, your compensation won't even cover the or won't even cover the room bill for one system hour. And you have the nerve to talk about compensating me? Hey, th uh, this doll lost my room card, and I want it back. Just the one that's lost, not the others. If the dog can't or if the dog can't find it, then you do it. I don't care if you have to beg, borrow, or steal. I'm going to get out. Huh? What'd you say? I said, I want you to disappear from Panacone. You can make yourself scarce on your own, or I can arrange for it. Your choice. Wait, I'm a guest of honor invited by the family. How dare you talk to me like this? Huh, a guest of honor, huh? I'll let you in on a secret. Not only do I dare talk to you like this, but I also can do something about it. Oh, is that the invitation in your pocket? Let me check it. I see. It's signed by Maven, the head of the Iris family. An invitation from Maven, huh? So, it's okay if I tear it up, don't you think? In the blink of an eye, the gorgeous invitation is torn to shreds. College drained from the dream chaser's face instantly. Well then, now that you're no longer a guest invited by the family, you're just a nobody and a miserable basket case who bullies these or those little guys. Now would you kindly vacate the premises? You're nuts! I'm going to follow a complaint! There will be consequences! And all that jazz exits that way. Farewell. Who's that lady? A new administrator? Uh, I don't know her, but she looks so cool and she was scolding that bad guy. <laughs> Woof, I agree too. You guys are members of the Sweet Dreams troop, right? Don't be too polite to vomits like that, because the more placating you are, the more they'll walk all over you. And remember, if you get bullied next time, just come to me. Cheers, buddy. Is this... Uh, Siobhan before she became a drinksmith? That was our first encounter with Siobhan. You don't have the heart to leave her, do you? Now please answer my question. Do you think we should return to the Sweet Dreams troop? The so-called normal life is nothing more than slavery for us. To us, abnormality means freedom. But you've lost something else. In an instant, the words start to tremble violently, the strokes cascading off, forming a new sentence entirely. Do you want to leave, Shaban? The room is changing. It said he wanted to hear my thoughts, but in the end, it poured out his own heart. What's more important than freedom? What else is worth cherishing? What would be lost? What do I truly want? Actually, can you hover over here anyways? What am I hesitating for? Okay, I, I was wondering if, like, if they actually had a prompt like that. No. You found the ultimate answer. What's even more important than freedom is companionship. Is that the answer you're hoping for? I don't know. Well, who really knows? Originally, reaching this room would have uh, been impossible because the room card was lost. But someone helped you and helped us out. Even without the room card, you managed to open the door. It's time to leave. This thought experiment has come to fruition. Alright. 
Oh god. Dying into this dream is much more tiring than a fight. Your mom was right. Now I admit that you're an extraordinary dreamsmith. You're a perfect fit for a dream drill hostelry. On behalf of all the members, welcome aboard. Thank you for what you've done. I'll drop by next time. Thank you for everything. Now that I've resolved all the monster problems, it's time to investigate, uh, Siobhan. A group photo? Make your dream a blast. Actually, I wonder, can I- am I allowed to do drinks right now, or do I have to continue the- yeah, yeah, I have to continue the thing. Let's see, Wolf, you got some time now? You promised to meet up with Siobhan. Let's get going. Let's go. See you at the bar. Hello. Wolf, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I told them that we wouldn't be at the or be at the lodge today. Now we can do whatever we want. Uh that sounds great. What's your plan? No worries. Soda Doggo will always be your most reliable partner. Although I've never left the hotel, my handsome and keen nose will lead us straight to Saban, Wolf. I hear that the gold hour, or golden hour is huge and crowded, so stick close and don't get lost. Oh, <gasps> is that a stain? I like. Oh wait. The thing I can collect here. Project Scarab? Smelling something weird. Um. Hey, Sparkle. How's it going? <laughs> hey, guys. Walking your dog, huh? He looks so happy. <laughs> You know, I think he's the one taking you for a walk. What are you doing here? I'm going wherever I want. Plus, the dreamscape is a mess, and I've got mountains of cleanup tasks to do. Woof, I got something super important to do. Yeah, yeah, talking dog, so cute. I'll bring you a gift next time, but for now, I got work to do, so I'm out of here. <laughs> All the shiny stuff and so many people, it's so lively out here. Oh, hey, Black Swan. Oh, wolf, so that's clocky. This place is so spacious, perfect for a game of float this. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, let's find Shabon first. Wolf, uh, so many scents mixed up here. Are you looking for me? Ah, uh, chill out. Just kidding. You seem a little troubled. How about I draw a fortune card for you? What's your plan? Just doing you a favor. And returning the favor. Well, it's done. Oh, uh, wolf! I caught a Shaban scent! Let's go! Now go. Seize the opportunity before it slips away. Oh, thank you, Black Swan. Check out the Wolf, look, it's Siobhan, and the person next to her. I think I've met her before. Hey, it's the bad guy who tried to take Siobhan away from the lounge. How'd they end up together? Wolf, Wolf, I'll drag Siobhan back. Oh, uh, hold on, not so fast. Then I'll sneak over and eavesdrop on their conversation. As I said, staying at that rundown lounge is a total waste of your talent. If you just had listened, if you had just listened to me earlier, you wouldn't be in this mess. Lucky for you, the family head is in a good mood. So I'll take you to see her. Just be careful what you say. Don't worry, you haven't forgotten who taught you the basics of acting, have you? I will be careful. Huh, good to know. And don't spend all day obsessing over those monsters of yours. I'll handle them. Now let's get going. Wolf, are you okay? Let's head back, Wolf. Aww. Oh, 
The gang's all here. Hey, you're back. I was worried about you guys. Wolf, uh, Siobhan, or, or Siobhan, she doesn't want to, or she doesn't want us anymore. Poo hoo. Ha ha ha. What nonsense are you talking about, silly dog? You think you can fool us with that pathetic tiny brain of yours? I'm telling the truth. The Drake Smith saw it too. Siobhan, she left with the bad guy who showed up at the lounge last time. She doesn't want to stay here anymore. Oh my god, lies, nothing but lies. Truth has never existed from the beginning. Or a uh, truth, a trust has never existed from the beginning. Is that true? Dot dot dot. Don't just stand there. There are troublemakers out there everywhere. Oh. Watch out. These monsters are feral and aggressive. Don't let your guard down. They won't hurt anyone. What the heck? Why is there a human in this hellhole? We went over to wipe out all the monsters in the hotel in the, in the dreamscape. Let's just do our job. Uh, Wolf, this is our lounge. We won't let any baddies do anything bad. No time to explain. I gotta stop them first. Oh. Our duty to keep this dreamscape safe. Get rid of all the monsters. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill fate to say. I'll see you off. <laughs> Stand still. This gray hair is way too tough. Well, what the heck are you doing? You're up with those monsters fight against us. Are you nuts? They really won't harm anyone. Are you kidding me? Stop talking nonsense. Dream Joe Troop is, a ju is just a bunch of monsters. They roam around and attack people. And many guests have been attacked. Are you, sa are you now saying they're safe? No one will believe that nonsense. Moreover, they're just animated objects to entertain guests. They can be easily replaced. Isn't it really worth all this trouble to protect them? No. They're not just objects. Enough with your naive kindness. Can you take responsibility if someone gets hurt because of these monsters? What's more, they're corrupted by the nightmare. Even if they seem harmless now, they'll show the true colors of the slightest provocation. Monsters are monsters, beyond redemption. I'll give you one last chance to think it over. After leaving a few harsh words, the Bloodhound family members take their leave for now. You can clearly hear sobbing from behind you. What's going on here? Uh, those hounds, they've been here? I'll contact the head of the Bloodhound family right away. That's not the most urgent problem, Ashaban. You should check on them first. They, they wanted to capture all of us, and they said that we're just a bunch of worthless trash. What should we do? Boo hoo, it's so scary. They'll lock us in and lash, a, or lash us like hell. Despair is clutching my heart. So stifling. I'm oh, about to suffocate. It's too much to handle. They said mean things and uh, even hurt Tin Man. I'll fight those scoundrels no matter what. Woof, Shaban, are you... Are you gonna abandon us? That's why he sent those baddies to get rid of us, right? What nonsense are you even talking about? I never wanted to abandon you guys. But I heard it all, Wolf. I heard everything you guys talked about. You want to go back to the family and continue your former career. We're nothing but unruly monsters. Just a burden to you. Well, we can't do anything useful. We bicker, or we bicker all day long. And we may lose control anytime, so you have to stay in this lounge forever. That's why you hired a new drink smith. You've been thinking about leaving for a while now. No, I hired Kirby because... Their emotions are too intense to be calmed down by words. If we don't handle it well, they might go into a frenzy again. What's wrong? You used to be so articulate. 
But when it really matters, why don't you say anything? Is it because you're afraid of saying the wrong thing and making them even angrier? Amiki, just shut up. Huh, don't think you can order me around. I'm not listening. Back then, there was a fool who gave up her acting career to become a drinksmith. She always said that... Or she always said with confidence that drinksmith is an art of communication. Now that you're a drinksmith, why don't you solve the problem the best way you know how? Can you please make me a drink now, Kirby? No problem. Make me your best drink, or one that you think suits me best right now. We've known each other for quite a while now. What do you think is the drink that fits me best? I'm looking forward to your answer. Ha! Let's do... Mini wine glass. With more eyes. Uh, how about ultimate syrup with dream jam? Stir that shit with. <laughs> what does it make this like the, the strongest like drink ever? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, let's see. How about rejuvenating soda? And then... Yeah, okay, I don't know. <laughs> and we will... Close it off with an origami bird. I have no idea what this even means. <laughs> huh. What an intriguing flavor. Time is limited, so I'll be straightforward. I'll remove the protection from my heart. During this time, please use your powers to let everyone know how I'm really feeling. I won't hide anything anymore. You'll s you'll all see the real me. The genuine me. I'm ready. Oh. Alright. Oh, uh, we had to use the group photo to start the... to unlock the dial. This is... the Dream Jewel hostelry from the past? The furnishing is very different from how it looks now. And the monsters are nowhere... nowhere in sight. Oh, uh, Shibana and Mr. Bigwig are over there. I bought a new radio at the store. Want it? You always think that the lounge is cold and lonely, right? Well, check this out. It really does the trick. Listening to the radio when you're bored. The programs from the Iris family won't leave you bored. Oh, uh, wolf. Thank you. I'll cherish it. By the way, you've been staying in this lounge for quite a while. It's about time I gave you a name. Since you enjoy listening to the radio so much, why don't we call you... Oh, I got something interesting in mind. Wolf, what's that? From now on, your name is Mr. Bigwig. Uh, Wolf, my name is Mr. Bigwig, an awesome name, I love it. Uh, reporting to Mr. Bigwig, recently the family sealed off the hotel in the dreamscape. I'm planning to explore its depths again and see if there are any other sweet dream... Sweet Dreams troop members who have been abandoned like you. Requesting your instructions. Wolf, let's go. Aww. Hey, Natty, how you doing? Yeah, let's go. That's right. Although I want to open a lounge, I'm still lacking a fair few things now that I look at it. How can a proper upscale lounge be empty? 
I'll have to see what I can do. Did I just witness a scene in Siobhan's memory? There's only a Mr. Bigwig in the lounge at this time. I had a jigsaw piece. It'll probably come in handy later. From what I've heard, Siobhan is planning to enter or explore deeper into the hotel and the dreamscape to search for the rest of the Sweet Dreams troop. Let's follow her. I think I hear Spade's voice. He woke up way too early. Go back to bed, Natty. Hmm, what is this terrible, pla terrible place? I woke up and found myself here. With nobody but... Monsters! What bad luck. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I need a bathroom when I'm nervous, but where is it? Woof, it's my peer, Mr. Dice. 4 plus 2 minus 3. Is the result big or small? Big. It's big. Four, or 5 times 4 minus 2 then divided by 6. Is the result big or small? Small. It's small. 8 squared divided by 4 minus 4 then divided by 4. Is the result big or small? I have a little tummy and I need to use the bathroom. Woof, these questions are just too hard. It's natural if you, if you can handle these questions. Small size Sweet Dreams Troop members don't have good computation abilities. I asked it those questions just to, or just to see if it's being combative. And luckily, it seems like the Nightmare Corruption or Nightmare Corruption on it, uh, wait, on its, wait, on it's still not too deep. Would you come back with me, if you don't mind? Come back? But where? I've opened a lounge in the depths of the hotel in the dreamscape for those abandoned. Sweet dreams troop members like you. There, you won't have to work, just live happily. The only rule is, no fighting. Will you join us? It could be dangerous for you to stay in the sealed hotel all alone, and you'll feel... or and you'll feel lonely without any company. But if you join us, you'll have a family. Family? Then, can I take bathroom breaks whenever I want? Of course you can. You can do whatever you want without any restrictions. There And there won't be any bullying in the name of discipline. I... I won't allow what happened before to happen again. Follow up if you're interested. It's time to go home. Is Siobhan bringing Spade back to the lounge? Let's follow them and, and see. Wait, that is here, uh... Oh, never mind. Oh. Uh, wolf, we got a new partner, Shaban. Let's give Mr. Dice a name too. Ha ha ha! I want the coolest name you can think of. The kind that scares people just by hearing it. Well, I was terrible at naming characters when I wrote scripts. I see I have some spades on your die, so maybe I'll just call you Spade. Oh, that's so casual. Wolf, I think it's a great name. It suits you. Ah? Huh? How does it suit me, you? You silly, silly dog. Haha, <laughs> silly dog. No, stop, no fighting here. If you're so energetic, come help me set up the lounge. Found the second jigsaw piece. Maybe I can attempt, or maybe I can attempt to finish the jigsaw. The, er, bleh. the design is sophisticated, and it fits well with the overall atmosphere. Finally, it's starting to look or er, starting to look like a lounge, but there's still something missing. Something just doesn't feel right. Uh, woof! It's because there are no customers yet. It would feel or more like a lounge if it were filled with customers. Wait, <laughs> what kind of counter is so clean? It has to be piled with paper, money, and chips to bring out the vibes. Ah, I get it. I forgot to prepare the ingredients for mixing the drink. After completing the jigsaw, the respective item appeared in the lounge. I can understand it now. I'm currently watching the process of uh, Shaban meeting with the monsters and building the lounge together. Only the most important moments were preserved. This is, this is Shaban's inner world. She's revealing her past to regain the monster's trust. 
let me help her reveal the whole scenario. The field of vision is getting darker. Is it time to jump to the next memory? If you're planning to keep hanging out in this shabby lounge and play house with those monsters, don't blame the Iris family for not saving a spot for you. Getting some real Sigmund... Sigmund Core vibes from this one. What's Sigmund Core? Fuck. Stand up. Seriously, you... You're not... You're not taking your future seriously enough. The status of the... Or the status within the family, the superficial flowers and applauses. What can I do with any of that? You're the one who's gotten too caught up in it, Amiki. To the Moon series, they ruined your life. I still have not read To the Moon. My friends have been telling me for years since it first came out, if I remember correctly. I, I still haven't gotten around to reading it to this day. Oh, like any time to the moon gets mentioned, like they they kind of like poke me here and there verbally, say, like, "Hey, go read to the moon, come on, <laughs> do it, I'll do it later." <laughs> it's one of the many many things on my to-do list. In this case, on my to-do list for years. Let's go, Mr. Bigwig. Wolf! After completing the jigsaw, the timeline of the memory advances. Jabon still plans to stay here and continue searching for the abandoned Sweet Dreams troop deeper in the hotel in the dreamscape. Huh. Sweet dreams are as fickle as fantasy-filled soap bubbles. Huh. Love stems from lies, and passion arises from ignorance. Are you... here just to bully me? Uh, not at all. Uh, Siobhan wants to help you. You were part of the Sweet Dreams troop, weren't you? Did the family abandon you in the dreamscape? Uh, I've always been a, uh, been on or uh, been on my lonesome. If the expectation was never uh, envisaged, how would one... How would one be considered abandoned? Please speak like a normal person. I've set up a lounge nearby where no one will bully you. There you can meet others uh, from the Sweet Dreams troop who are in the same situation as you. Will you come with me? Are you sure no one will bully me there? Yes, I won't allow it at least. Do I still need to participate in plates and act out roles? No, you don't. Or perhaps you can if you're interested. Are you really, really sure no one will bully me? Are you actually expecting a yes from me? I'm leaving. Do you want to come with me or not? Take me with you. Yeah. Alright. Oh, oh. I heard there was a lounge here. A oh, wolf. This is, this is the first time a monster actively shows up here. Yeah, I'm the owner of this lounge. Judging by your appearance, it seems like the nightmare hasn't affected you, right? At least my mind has been unclouded so far. Tell me, what's your purpose in bringing, the, bringing back these abandoned monsters? It's none of your business, is it? Now that you've managed to uh, avoid the impact of the collapsing dreamscape, leave and find a safe place. And why are you still staying at the dreamscape yourself? I haven't finished business. Listen, uh, even if you're not showing signs of frenzy now, as part of the Sweet Dreams troop, the Nightmare will eventually corrupt you, so leave now and find a safe place where you still have your sanity. Well, similarly, as long as someone's part of the Sweet Dreams troop, there's no actual safe place for them. Show me your lounge. Oh, wolf, we're back! Ha 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 some new friends! Alright, listen up! In this lounge, you all do what I say. Whenever I give an order, you follow I got it? Now if you understand, be a good troop member and clean the toilets. What do you say? I knew someone would bully me in the end. Stop your nonsense. Relax. There are no such rules in this lounge. Oh, uh, I need to give you guys names. How about I just call you... Melancholy. <laughs> uh, that name doesn't really fit me. I mean, I'm not melancholic and I'm not poetic at all. 
I, uh, Besides, melancholy encompasses more than just an emotion. It's an attitude toward the world. A uh, wolf, you, or you really should hear what you just said. That name suits you perfectly. Heh <laughs> Uh, perhaps this is what those customers call yuppies? What the fuck does yuppies mean? <laughs> uh, is that how it's spelled? It's your turn now. Let me see. Wait, I already have a name. It's Starlet. Wolf? Huh? I don't even know what to say, my friend. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Are you seriously called Starlet? What kind of quirky style is that? <laughs> Show some respect. Don't make fun of people's names. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke fun, it, but it's just too hilarious. <laughs> Starlet, do you twinkle, Starlet? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> hey now, you won't like to see me mad. Alright, let's get back out to setting the lounge. With new members on board, we'll finish it up in no time. I need your help, Melancholy, and... Starlet. <laughs> hey! Alright. I've got everything I need. Don't I look like a drink smith when I stand behind the counter? Uh, Wolf, our lounge is all or is all set and ready to roll. It looks so awesome and grand. Heh heh heh, finally. A place to call home for a good while. I'm so touched. Uh, there's truly no place like home in the world. Have you thought about our next steps? Or have you thought about next steps? If they stay here, they'll eventually go berserk. What will you do then? Uh, I'll figure something out. Maybe there's no permanent solution, but at least they can have a happy life like this. When the Sweet Dreams troop gets corrupted by negative emotions, they turn into the Dream Jolt troop and end up being pursued by the family. They got nowhere. They've got nowhere to go except the sealed hotel in the dreamscape. Will they stay in this hotel until they're wiped out? That won't happen to them. Not under my watch. I promise you. The lounge is all decorated, but Lady and Tin Man haven't appeared. Looks like the memory backtrack has to continue. The dreamscape is collapsing, and there aren't many sweet dream... Sweet Dreams troop members who can keep the sanity. Come on, let's go deeper into the area. Wolf, S uh, Siobhan, you sound tired. Siobhan does look exhausted. I should be nearing the end soon. <sighs> I, I can go for a drink right now. Not an actual alcoholic one, but like, I actually have a thing of like, hot chocolate I can make. Oh, that's scary. I don't want to date you people. Leave me alone. Go away. Uh, Wolf, I'm not some berserk monster. Relax and listen. It's okay now. We won't hurt you. Just take a breath. Open your eyes and see? I'm not a monster. Just an ordinary human being. Uh, and a handsome dog, Wolf. Oh, you see, I got lost in this maze-like place and couldn't find my way out. Could you please show me the way? Sure thing. Come with me. Wolf, well, you're talking in a weird way like those guests do. Well, I used to be a superstar entertaining those guests, and I've been on some amazing stages. Superstar. Huh. It's been a while since I heard that word. Did you enjoy being on stage? Yeah, for sure. Being loved by so many guests and shouting on that stage is a true blessing. A true blessing, right? If you like the stage so much, I'll just call you Superstar. Well, but we already have Starlet. Oh, right, let me think again. Can I... Can I call myself Lady? I've always envied those guests in the in fabulous clothes. They're so elegant. Sure, you can call yourself whatever you want. Shall we head home? Thank you. I'll be right behind you. Oh. Okay, now that I think about it with all the reading I'm doing now, I think my throat's actually feeling a little bit sore from the from all the reading. Maybe I need a break night tomorrow. Oh wait, 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 wait. How long do we have for the Grand Blue event? 
Ah, shit. Because, like, I need to get around to that, because that expires faster than the FGO event. Uh, we got four days and six hours for the current Grand Blue event. Okay, no, no, we got time. Okay, so... So I'll probably... Probably rest my voice tomorrow. And then we'll do Grand Blue reading. The next day. And then, I think by that time... Will all the time locks be unlocked for FGO? Although, granted, it's going to be a very long re reading session. I think. But, eh, I mean, I'm still on regen for farming out the event. So, I'm not too bothered by losing out on AP. So, yeah, I think FGO event has, like, 20 parts. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I gotta, okay, I gotta get to the FGO. <sighs> I'm gonna get to the FGO event after Grand Blue then. Ugh. So I think like, I mean, I'm still gonna, you know, I, I don't mean to signal like ending the stream anytime soon. No, we still got a lot of work to do tonight. But yeah, okay, so I need to, okay, so rest tomorrow, day after Grand Blue, then after that, FGO to hard focus on the new event featuring the Trunk Sisters. And then, uh, what was it? And then, I hope we can finally get back to Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> uh, oh my god, dude. Picking gotcha throwing out the schedule. Or, uh, well, not really throwing out the schedule, but like, delaying the other playthroughs. Well, I mean, same difference, honestly. Call your administrator. What do you mean it's temporarily closed to the public? Is that how you treat your guests? Do you even have a smidgen of respect for your customers? Basic etiquette. Uh, wolf. Uh, there's a frenzied monster in the lounge. That's scary. Didn't you say that the lounge is totally safe? No, it's not frenzied. Uh, that Sweet Dreams troop member is just grumpy. What would you like? A drink, of course. Are you the drink smith here? Fetch me something. I'm dying of thirst. Sure, I can make whatever you want. I want a drink that's slightly sour, not too bitter, super sweet, refreshing, fruity, with a little fizz. Hurry up. <laughs> what? Slightly sour, not bitter, super sweet, refreshing. Fru <laughs> that's gonna be a big glass. Uh, we're gonna need a super large glass at this point. Uh, Wolf, I don't even think we have all those ingredients. What? How dare you open a lounge without decent ingredients? What a joke. You can't even whip up a decent drink. I'm leaving. Hold on. I'm not waiting any longer. Well, I'll make you the drink you want. Just give me a moment. Here you go. Exactly what you asked for. Hey... You think the camera angles in anime can be a little bit... weird? Eh. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. I've met plenty of people like you. Uh, all high and mighty thinking they rule the world. Guess what? They all... Wait a second. That T isn't capitalized. Unreadable. Can't believe it. Mihoyo cancelled. Okay, they all end up bowing before me. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Fine, I'll give it a try. If it doesn't impress me, your lounge will have to shut down. Gulp. Well, what's happening here? My head feels a bit dizzy. Like I've had a strong drink, but somehow I'm feeling calm. Hey there, nice to meet you all. Greetings, my lady. You're absolutely stunning. Would you mind if I... Yeah, I'm not interested in you at all. You truly are a miracle worker, Shaban. What'd you do? It was just a little experiment. I just added some special ingredients that help calm them down. Seems like it worked pretty well on our grumpy customer. Although, I may have added a bit too much. Uh, hey, hello, mister. Hey, did you call me? I'm in a wonderful mood right now. If you need anything, just feel free to ask, and I'd serious I'll seriously consider it. From now on, 
you'll be a regular at this lounge, and I'll make sure or I'll make sure to serve you delicious drinks. Sound good? Oh, or oh, and you need a name. Ah, this is giving me a headache. I'll just pick one from the show I used to act in. Let's go with Tin Man. It suits a big guy like you. A bit tactless and all, but all right, that settles it. Is that my name now? Well, th yeah, that's your name. Don't forget it, because that's what all monsters and I will call you at the lounge. Because names, you know, they form our initial bond. Oh, I see. Oh, they're gonna take a group photo. Oh, uh, wolf, Siobhan, over here, or here, come here. <laughs> We've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Just don't get us here yet with joy and uh, start sprinkling tears everywhere. Why all the secrecy? What's all, what's the surprise all about? <laughs> it's a special gift we prepared just for you. The more heartfelt the words, the harder they are to say out loud. Uh, go ahead, come on. Devon, I'll leave the final steps to you. No, there are more suitable people available. Right, newly minted drinksmith? Eh? Huh? Uh, the, the version of Siobhan here can actually see me? Don't make a fuss. Go. Time to celebrate the grand opening of our lounge! Yeah, it's the grand opening, but I don't think there will be any other customers coming here except for you guys. Wolf, even so, it's still worth celebrating. When I first arrived, there was practically nothing. Now everything is set up and we've made so many friends. From now on, this lounge will be called Dream Jolt Hostelery. It's a place for all those who can enjoy sweet dreams. We're not accepted by the outside world, so we've gathered here. We are each other's sweet dreams. Ah, so cheesy. I love it. Looks like you're quite used to peering into people's hearts, right? Honestly, revealing all of my innermost feelings <laughs> feels pretty bad. Makes you feel vulnerable. I'm not quite skilled at it, <laughs> says the trailblazer who just invades the emotions of, like, every random citizen in the dreamscape. Well, we can't pick and choose right now. Let's keep going. I haven't finished my drink yet. I'm an orphan. I never knew who my parents were. I was abandoned at the Reverie Hotel before I was old enough to remember anything. Maven, the head of the Iris family, adopted me and raised me as a future star. I once achieved great great success in my acting career, but in the end, the stage wasn't for me. I just didn't fit in. Life under the spotlight was too much for me. I despised being in front of the camera, the never-ending interviews, the mind-numbingly boring scripts. I'd rather be with those monsters rather er, than in a rowdy crowd. I long for a real family. A real family? Like the sweet dream troop? Yeah, they're simple and innocent kids. Being with them brings me peace and happiness. That's why I can't stand those who treat them as tools and boss them around. Unfortunately, uh, there are too there are too many selfish and hypocritical people in the dreamscape, bullying the weak to boost their own pathetic egos. So I left the I left the stage because I wanted to help them. You know what happened next? The dreamscape started collapsing, and the hotel got sealed by the family. And and became a spot infested by frenzied monsters. I stayed here, searching for the abandoned sweet dream troop members who were still sane. I established this lounge, making drinks for those monsters and finding ways to calm them down, hoping they change their fate. They're my most important family. I don't want to see them get hurt. It's time to face reality. Oh, Wolf, I'm so sorry, Shaban. We shouldn't have doubted you. You've done so much for us. I'm sorry. I haven't been spending much time at the lounge lately, and I haven't had a chance to explain everything to you guys. The reason I entrusted this lounge to Kirby for now is that I heard about the family's plan to eliminate all monsters in the hotel in the dreamscape. To stop them, I need to regain the support of the Iris family. Mixing drinks, it's like having a conversation, but I couldn't do it while on my own. 
Look at you, or look at you now, Shaban. What happened to that boldness you had when you confronted the entire Iris family? Remember when you came at me all excited saying, Hey, Amiki, I found a dog, and it wants to come home with me. Now that you decided to run this lounge, take responsibility for it. Did I ever say I was running away, Amiki? Well, you've become quite the lecturer, haven't you? I'm happy to see you grow more mature. Hey, don't try to change the subject. Let's go. We'll meet- Oh. Uh, we'll go meet, meet those hounds. Two more? Don't get in our way. Whoever you are, don't think you can stop the Bloodhound family. Oh? You really don't care who we are. Being too reckless will get you into trouble. Don't threaten me. A Bloodhound family member- or wait, a Bloodhound family member's will is resolute as steel. I don't mean to intimidate, but perhaps you can go do the Iris family a favor. This lady, Amiki, is the favorite daughter of Lady Maven, head of the Iris family, and she's now a superstar in the dreamscape. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say for her sake? Hey, you talk as if uh, you're not a co core member of the Iris family. Did you really, or do you really see yourself as, uh, as just a random drinksmith? These monsters aren't aggressive at all. As you can see, a little scare is enough to frighten them. They won't pose a threat to the guest's safety. What's more, Kirby's recent actions have proven that they can be controlled. Uh, those monsters are actually more res more reasonable than you guys. Even the Dream Joe troop, corrupted by the nightmare, can live in harmony with us. Those who are interested in those or in those monsters and have visited the lounge will tell you the same thing. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask around? And if you're truly interested, I can ask our family head to speak with you guys, and I'm pretty sure her words will be far or will be more convincing, don't you think? Uh Are you members of the Dream Joe troop who came here with them? Huh? It feels terrible to be treated like lifeless objects and boss around, doesn't it? Oh. Well, you always have the choice to leave. You don't have to spend your time or your life obeying their orders. All new members are welcome at the Dream Joe Hostelery. <laughs> Happy face. What's happening? The monsters are running away. Are they affected by the nightmare getting frenzied? How are we supposed to carry the carry out this task without them? They didn't become frenzied. They simply just don't want to follow orders anymore. They realize that they have options other than being mere tools for the family. Why are you still here? Do you want me to say hi to your boss? No, of course not. We'll leave right now. Sorry for the disturbance. Well, I chose to stay in the desolate hotel in the dreamscape to stay away from family issues. But in the end, I had to rely on my family connection to protect this lounge. That's why your idealism can't solve any problems, so stop being naive and be more realistic. Besides, you will fulfill what you promised me, right? Right? Don't worry, have I ever lied to you? We'll discuss the business once we've taken care of everything for the lounge. Or in the lounge. Wolf, but Shaban... Those guys were right. We'll be corrupted by the nightmare one day, right? Yeah, nothing will change. I can't get rid of the nightmare completely. I'm sorry. Wolf, I... I... Uh, didn't mean to blame you. Just like humans can get sick, members of the Sweet Dreams troop can can be affected by negative emotions and become frenzied. Life is a process of constant change, and there's no and there's no permanent solution. Problems will always arise, and we'll keep solving them moment by moment. But no matter how much you all flip out here, I will stay here and help you find yourselves. In my eyes, you're no different from me. I'll stay with you forever until the dreamscape collapses completely. Wolf, thank you. And even if I'm gone one day, there's someone else who's willing to treat you all like family, right? Don't you agree, new drinksmith? The Dream Joe Hostelery may have returned to its, pe to its peace and quiet, but not all matters were resolved, such as... Oh no. Uh, Shabon, this is not what we agreed on. Uh, Wolf, you're starting to talk like me now. We agree that I help you restore your relationship with the Iris family and keep this lounge. In return, you promised me a comeback to the stage and, and to perform together with me. Girl, do you realize where you're standing right now? 
Oh, I, I like this. Why? Why are all the monsters names listed in this promotional poster? Ace Dealer Spade, Melancholy Dramatist, Soda Bigwig, Lady and Justice, Steel Tin Man, and Starlet the Philosopher King. <laughs> the Philosopher King? <laughs> oh my god. Your name isn't there. <laughs> Are you underestimating our performance skills, dear lady? Come to my show and you won't be disappointed. What we agreed on was that the owners of Dream Joe Hostelery would assist the Iris family in their performances. Since this lounge belongs to those members, they'll be participating in the, sh <coughs> in the show. Okay, I need to get a drink after this. Non-alcoholic! Is that a problem? I've even decided to become an idol uh, to save our lounge from closing down. You, you're being sly. Huh. I contacted the Bloodhound family, and they've agreed to postpone the cleanup of the hotel in the Dreamscape. In other words, these monsters will be safe, and Dream Joe Hostelery will continue to operate. Thank you for everything. If it weren't for you taking over as a Dreamsmith, I wouldn't have had the time, or wouldn't have had time to deal with all the troubles within the family. Thank you. We really appreciate your help. I had a lot of fun mixing drinks! I knew you'd say that. Whenever you feel like it, feel free to drop by. You're always welcome here. Alright, now go make yourself an exclusive drink as a souvenir of your drinksmith career. And show me what you really like on the inside. What, do you want me to make like a trash colored drink? But a sophisticated one, we need a wine glass. Like extra large wine glass here. With as much ice as possible because we're cool like that. Alright. We need... With a baseball bat as decoration. <laughs> we need... Mung bean soda. And... The odd concoction. With... Actually, how's that mix? And nah, that's all like murky or whatever. So, mung bean. Actually, ultimate syrup. Actually, no, that's gonna be. Uh, what kind of color? Eh, no, it's not as pleasant as I thought it'd be. Okay, okay. What mixes well with mung bean? How about like the red here? Nah. Okay, I have a feeling that mung bean is just intentionally just hard to work with. Actually, with Dream Jam? No, that looks that looks nice. And then we need a little bit of that like odd concoction for that random chaotic energy. And then And then uh, some puffer goat milk for that, for that childlike personality. And then okay, I I don't know like what other symbolic thing I can like slap in here. Oh, okay, what's a, what's a pretty color? <laughs> uh champagne okay no that wasn't it but fuck it <laughs> so slightly sweet a neutral flavor but ultra thick <laughs> And... Hmm. Hmm. 
I, I like the origami bird. <laughs> and there it is, just Kirby. The special mix named after you at the Dream Joe Hostelry. You may leave this place, but your story will never be forgotten. Slightly sweet and very thick. <laughs> Truly representative of the Trailblazer. <laughs> Uh, is the mixing done? This drink will be made, made uh, specially for you. I'll add it to the Dream Joe Hostelery drink menu. Customers will get to taste it, so you better consider your choice carefully. Only the thickest of drinks. An interesting thought. Looks like Gallagher was right. It's always a surprise with you around. This special drink that belongs to you will be kept on the Dream Joe Hostelery drink menu to commemorate those who will forever be our friends. You're always welcome, amazing drink smith of Penacone. Aww. Oh my god, dude. This, this quest was so long. I mean, I really like it, but oh my goodness, that, that was a while. A drink as thick as my... <laughs> my, my thighs? That's what you should be saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The monster's emotional troubles have all been resolved, but uh, the lounge will keep going. If you feel like you haven't got enough tips, come back and serve more customers. Alright. Super sweet, thick, two layers. Okay, two things of milk, and then oh, I need to subtract it by. Oh, I don't know. We can do rejuvenating. So and then swirl it all together. <laughs> And then... probably soda. <laughs> Glorious. Uh... Alright, that should get us our final level. There we go. Alright, and that one's done. Oh. Now we can claim everything here and get all this precious jade. Not to mention the XP and everything. Nice! And we are done! Let's see, characters, Gallagher's our new one here. After using ultimate, get a new turn. This one's free. Outgoing healing, break effect. Abundance, actually what would you equip? So you scale on break effect. Oh. Oh yeah, you would use your own. The literally designed for you. Eh. Okay. Leave your special mix. Deal with their emotional troubles, deductions. Okay. Ugh. Oh, 10k? Holy shit, people have been using my support. Finally! Okay, how much stamina do I have? Oh, okay, that's a fair amount. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's get started with Pure Fiction soon. Let me go... Get a drink. 
No, I'm an alcoholic, of course. But, uh, wait a second. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh. Wait, what's all the bottles here? What are you doing here, you piece of shit? I don't even want to talk to you. Okay. Ugh. Let me, actually, let me find, like, a AFK spot. Let's see. How about... Uh, we'll just go chill in the parlor car. You should have a drink. An alcoholic one. Wait a second. Wait a second. What are you doing here? Oh, we'll talk to you later, Ratio. Okay. Let me just... Actually, no. Let me just, like, sit right here. Uh, a little closer. I no, can't see it. There we go. No, no, no. Angle it. No, no, no. Tiny bit closer. There we go. Now we can see the photograph in the background there. You were given some not your father's root beer for your birthday. <laughs> this ain't your father's root beer. All right, let me just bump up the BGM a tiny bit. I'll go warm up some hot chocolate because I could really go uh, for a sweet drink right now. Be right back. See you guys in like a minute or two.
Hello.
Ah, a Zaga Punch raid. Sorry, I was making hot chocolate because I'm really, really thirsty right now. Totally not because we just finished a long side quest about mixing drinks. But yeah, how you doing? How you doing, Sucker Punch? And how's everyone else doing if anyone's still here? I'm fine. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're doing Star Wars right now. Just trying to catch up on side quests, other content, weekly reset stuff. I need to lower the volume a little bit because I raise it up for uh, BGM. Trying to get more Jade right now so I can pull for Acheron. Because earlier last session, I ended up failing my 50 50 and ended up getting my second copy of Himeko. So I'm trying to scrounge for as much as possible with this weekly reset. You doing alright? Kind of tired? Decided to end early tonight? Yeah, I know that feeling. I'm actually like for tomorrow just gonna chill myself because uh, I need to kind of rest my voice from all the reading I've been doing. But yeah, but for tonight though, we got weeklies to do. But first, how are you doing, Dr. Ratio? So, within your esteemed data bank, knowledge is reduced to mere bytes and bits? Sure, it's handy for sharing, but it surely robs the reader of genuine pleasure, does it not? Ah, uh, the touch of a paper book is a sensation I frequently find myself missing. Uh, pom pom, I'm trying to have a conversation here. Stop sweeping. Oh god. Dr. Ratio really is one for physical books only. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I was like, god damn, I was like, what's pom pom doing like on the left side of my ear? Sweep, sweep, sweep. Ratio is on the same level as you. I can't say I do. What? Can't grasp the concept? I'd wager you haven't opened a real book in your life. Well, considering how the game started, I was literally created on the space station, thrown into... Oh, like, a raid from the Annihilation Gang or whatever. And I had to fight for my life ever since. Sensation of paper under one's You're gonna go head out? Alright, Psycho Punch. The Take care. Thanks for the raid. Age. Hope you have a nice night. Provide psychological stimulation when one's thoughts are stalled, leading you gradually out of any mental impasse. The sensation of paper. Psychological stimulation when one's thoughts are stalled. To me, holding a physical book constantly reminds one of the gravity of knowledge. An experience that digital data just can't replicate. No. <laughs> to see paper books merely as vessels would be too... simplistic. Aww. Oh. Alright. I still need to want to chug down my, my chocolate right now. All right, so ahead of time, I actually went and set up my team just so we don't take too long. But yeah, stage three shouldn't be too bad. And I actually decided after all this time to finally bust out uh, Jing Yuan for, for wave two. So let's see how this goes. Let's wait. Sound linger. <laughs> Coolest. Glory. Bubble. Wait, did I forget to lower the music? Yeah, I was like, well, why is the music so loud? Existence is unity. A thousand wonders to raid. <laughs> Fight as one! <laughs> Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Welcome 
Oh, come on, how do you get to enhance like that quick? Like, oh, bullshit. Guiding luck. Wretched and fleet. I will protect all beauty. Trotter. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Grace and elegance. <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> And wonders. <laughs> Fight as one! Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty. <laughs> beauty is eternal. I'll see you off. <laughs> Some value, I suppose, eternal. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! My oath is to establish it and please it. <laughs> you chose the wrong path. <laughs> Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Come on, one more. Well, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I will protect all beauty. Yeah, actually, I think this might work out better Shall overall. I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty. Yeah, all the shattering. <laughs> beauty is eternal. Until I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty. Grace and elegance. Away by the wind. Receive divinity. Better late than never. Beauty is eternal. Let's settle this until I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty. All right, <clears throat> easy forty k. Thank you, Argenti. Be watchful. Always. I commend. Upgrade configured. Infallible. Yield. The smell of sin. I see through you. Follow my charge. Gear and thunder. Honored to meet me. <laughs> wait. Time for the Why didn't the stroke. wait? Why didn't Herdo's follow up trigger initially? Wait, let me read the fine print. Am I forgetting something? When an ally's attack. Oh, was it because of like extra effects or something that brought them below half? Oh, then the effect I have might be counterintuitive. Show no mercy. Time to twirl. I 
I shall be the judge. Time to twirl! By the will of the Ten Lords. Hmm. Actually, who do I boost here? The Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! Together as one! There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless! What are you looking at? Still in denial? Recount. All things in this human creation. Time to twirl. A quick divination. Follow my gear. This thunder. This is serious. I shall be the judge. The Ten Lords, the Ten Lords decree, hereby ordained. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Oh. What do you mean I didn't do enough yet? I see through you. <laughs> Recount. Conflict is finished. Okay. Still in denial. But yeah, this is a uh, not the best setup that I have right now. I shall be the judge. Together as one. Here, oh yeah, most definitely not the best setup for this. Oh my god, is it good thing I had Argenti hard carry? Effect really just invalidate. Oh no no, you didn't reach below half health yet. Never mind. Recount by the will of the ten lords. The ten lords decree hereby ordained. A quick divination. <laughs> Oh, the thing's gonna eat the. Yeah, I know this. Th okay, no. <laughs> uh, this ain't it. Well, at least we can ignore that. Oh God. Okay, so we got Dupard. Okay, now that one, yeah, no, Argenti will most definitely just sweep there. Now my main thing. I mean, honestly, maybe I should just switch the dot team here. I don't really have much other choice in all honesty. Rania? No, then I'd have trouble with... Mm. I mean, part of me is thinking... Or, well, part of me would have thought... Asta? No! Hmm. Or should I just do like... Or should I just be like... Super... Nah, no, nah, no, we can do triple dot. Someone's gonna have to just spam their basic attack though. Eh, 
that's it. Nah, that's it. Damn. Uh, maybe we just leave in Hanya for skill point. Wait, Fizz Res? Wind Res? Oh! What the f- what the heck? <laughs> okay, let's see. So... When targets use their abilities, receive more damage. Using a skill to target, fixed chance to inflict shatter. Nah, I think. Oh no no oh no oh, no! That effect that I was thinking about affecting the hurdle thing. No no, that was the shatter. No, not the effect that I chose. Uh, yeah no, I think we just gotta go like this then. Alright, uh, well we'll just have to wing it. I mean, assuming that Argenti can sweep, like the first node Trouble here. Ahead. Proceed. Like we shouldn't have too hard of a time with the second part. Glory above all. Repay. Existence is unity. A thousand wonders. Fight as one. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> My oath is to a solitary rose. Wretched empty. Oh. Some value, I suppose. Yeah. Every petal in my all will be swept away by the wind. Alright, Argenti, do your Until thing. I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah. Nothing major. Enjoying yourself? My guiding light. Beauty is eternal. Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty! Seize the moment! My oppression empty! Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! This shouldn't fill, so we can then just use a basic Until ultimate. See that yeah. I will protect all beauty. Ah. Beauty is eternal. Should pop one of them, some of them. Okay, the rest of them. I'll Until see you. I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty. Ah, yeah, that didn't kill. Well, the rest of them. You know, we'll have to just tap you. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Until I see I will protect all beauty. <laughs> oh wait, was I did not mean to do that. Race bird. There's more to life. Let's settle this. <laughs> Let's be friends. Yeah! Embrace for beauty is eternal. Uh, Some value, eh. I suppose. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. 
eternal sleep. The dead return! Welcome, customers. <laughs> My guiding light. Just off. Now we gotta go for it. I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Grace and elegance. Existence is unity. Heck. Flesh wound. <laughs> Every petal all will be swept away no, by the wind. Like Fuck no, dude. See that light once more. I will protect all beauty. Really? My oath is to assault you. I will protect all beauty. No, I don't defeat it now. God damn! Huh? Oh. Okay. That did not go as planned. Holy crap. Be watchful. Always. Make a wish. In fact, does that hurt? Destiny. Uh, stand still. We came together. Okay, now this is not gonna. I'm not sure how much is it gonna work. Or well. Mind your manner. Mm. Say bye to breathing. No matter. Don't throw the game. Relax. Oh, there we go. Ill fate descend. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. I see through you. 
May as well kill them all. Forget your wallet. Oh, okay, that was a bit of a waste there. Destiny isn't chosen. Are we at no that's not gonna get me enough for the ultimate although Gwenaifen's turn it will come up just before yeah actually no no I can make this work hit me no hit Gwenaifen Woo! resist What do you want to know? <laughs> Memories are e beneath the water lies an endless abyss. <laughs> say bye to breathing. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. No, I'm not gonna make it. No, no, please, please, no, no! Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, I was so close. I gotta do that shit again. God, like, in, in a case like that, I really need to, like, I really need to rebuild my Asta. Because we need the speed to make up for the lack of consistent AoEs from Argenti. Oh. Try using splash. Or should we go back to mm. Actually, who would I pair up with? I'd uh, just be Hanya, but then who else? I would. Uh, Hanya. Hanya Brown? Uh, nah, fuck. We'll, we'll, we'll keep committing with the triple dot team and see what happens. But yeah, no, my Black Swan was like a little bit too slow getting her ultimate back. Or I need to like pull that Trouble off at a ahead. different time. Proceed. Sound linger. I'm with <laughs> Coolest. Glory. Bubble. Oh man. Repay. Eternal. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Fight as one. I'll see you off. <laughs> My oath is to a solitary rose. Hmm. Actually, I wonder what's more consistent. Until I see that light once more. Oh wait, what's that, Bryce? Know how Resident Evil has adaptive difficulty, so does Dragon's Dogma too? Really? So what if you're you doing too well, they just spawn in a dragon on your ass? No, not not necessarily like that. 
But, huh. Some value, I suppose. Every petal not much is known about it, by the wind. but the fact that it's there, huh. I see. Interesting. I will protect all beauty. Peace the moment. Yeah. My guiding light. Beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. <laughs> So the worst you're doing, wait. Though, given what you heard from people talking about the game, it might be a, res a reverse of Resident Evil's adaptive difficulty. So the worse you're doing, the harder the game gets? Wait, what? That way, that's crazy. Honestly, I love it, but wait, that's so weird. I'll see you off. Huh. For what reason? <laughs> There's more to life. Eternal step. Dead return. Existence is unity. My oath is to a solitary rose. This is the conclusion that you're drawing up from from what people said of their experiences, not a confirmed thing. Ah, uh, okay. Wretched and fleet. Protect all beauty. Welcome, customers. <laughs> no, come on, hitting you. Thank you. A thousand wonders. Fight is fun. Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty. Embrace virtue. I forget, it's about the same thing, just not same. Oh no, 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 it does a little more. Personal, or, but you don't personally notice the game getting harder if you're doing well? Uh, you maybe wonder. it might end up being a confirmation bias thing, we can't really say for sure on that. Is eternal. <laughs> Until I see. I will protect all beauty! <laughs> We legitimately need people to like dig into the files and and uh, actually see evidence of the of the adaptive difficulty and its conditions. People are still trying to read the code. Yeah, good luck to them. Every petal in life probably won't be an easy task to think through way. everything in Dogma to do that. Let's be friends. Yeah. Until I see that light once, I will protect all beauty. Let's settle this. So wait, no, the one crazy thing people found out from Dogma 2's code. Uh, what exactly? Pawn affinity? Wait, what about pawn affinity? What is it we're waiting for? <sighs> I'm waiting. You're waiting for me to finish my drink. <laughs> Until I see that light once more. Yeah. Uh, wait. You know how you can make NPCs like you? Oh, yeah. Your main pawn has that too. Your main pawn? Welcome, customers. <laughs> oh. Some value, I suppose. Oh. Give them high fives, having making small talk raises it. Oh, you know, that does. That does make sense now that like we think about why we can make small talk with our own pawn. Huh. 
until I see. I will protect all beauty. Let's be friends. Guiding light. The beauty is eternal. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> A thousand wonders to fight as one. That's what I implies. Yeah, not sure. Sounds like it. <laughs> Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Take courage. Fucking barrier. I'll see you off. I will protect all beauty. Seize the moment. Beauty is eternal. Oh, we actually shattered. Oh shit. Wait, we can do this. We can do this. Make a wish. Does that hurt? Let's go. Everyone's a customer. <laughs> Destiny isn't chosen. Uh. Stand still. It came together. <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Oh, not imprisonment. Oh, that's the worst case scenario. Fuck. No. Say bye to breathing. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Don't throw the game. Stand still. Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings manifest. It came together. I need to start making more kills happen. Uh, I'll be five off. I need I'll need to rely on taking a hit. Heck. What do you want to know? Relax. 
memories are beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. We came together. Converge and awaken. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Stand still. Destiny is a pair. <laughs> a quick divination. Turn out to fuck up. Oh. All right. In this world. We don't even need to fight Catolia. Thank Argenti for all this jade. Bless the Drilla. Oh. Alright, and that and that just leaves one more sim run for the week, and we're gonna go for world world nine. And as far as I know, from what I read up on recommended items for Acheron, kind of want to go with the Izumo set to to get the set bonus that matches. We're yet to match a path with who or uh, with the wearer. So if you have an on a Nihility character, you have to have another Nihility character on the team. So I need to get that for Acheron. That and, like, if we fulfill a condition, that free 12% crit rate frees up so much room for enhancement with substats. Because, like, getting 12% crit rate on, on a relic, you'd have to, like... You'd have to, like, naturally quad roll into a crit rate substat. This? You usually get 12% just like that. So, more room for... more room for crit rate. All right, <laughs> we got the memory zone meme. All right, have a taste of nihility. <sighs> okay, one curio. Hmm. Let's go with omniscient capsule. Okay, this can only end so well. Does that hurt? Eternal. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate descends. You chose the wrong echo. Relax. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Let's settle this. <laughs> Stand still. Relation. Oh, come on. Eh, max HP, I guess. Erudition. Dude, where is my where are my nihility blessings? Oh, heck off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have to restart the run after this first node. Fuck this shit. Does that hurt? Unless we get like Rame like in the first occurrence somehow. Existence is unity. Destiny is apparent. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, I know.
Oh my god, that was such a bad start. Oh my goodness, absolutely horrid. Alright, get a Kyrio. Capsule. Oh. Sound linger. Does that hurt? Eternal. Destiny is apparent. Ill fate descends. Stand still. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Relax. There's more to life. Stand still. Go, Nihility. Uh, oh, oh, all the Nihility here. Uh, I'll probably get the rare one. And refresh. Destiny is a pair of fate to say. And reset. Nihility. There we go. Good start. Now oh, that's the start I'm looking for. Okay, occurrence. Sound lingers. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Enter battle. You know, I kind of I wish they would update some of the uh, what was it? Time to say bye. older occurrences with something better. I mean, no, uh, because if you think about it from like a lower level perspective, like they player would have to make a choice between going with a battle that they might not be able to win equipment and blessing wise they're just taking a loss and penalty Continue i don't know in the dark. i feel like a lot of the choices in some of the old occurrence events are just too too dull <laughs> Ill -tidings manifest. eternal slip the dead return Nihility. Nihility. Alright, and a current again. Sound linger. Let's wait. Make a wish. Ah, uh, one star blessings, please. Of Nihilator. Oh, this fucking game. Okay, we'll take Destruction because it has attack. There we go. Energy per dot. And there we go. Resonance spam. Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. Repent. Existence is unity. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Oh wait. Oh wait, we I think we can already win. You chose the Stand still. Oh yeah. I don't wanna risk the reroll, we'll have to take this one. I'd rather have the one that gives suspicion stacks. Ooh, ceiling wax. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, first Immersifier of the run. Not the set I'm looking for, sadly. Lightning boost. Nah, the subs are all trash. No attack, HP or crit or speed. It's all the worst stats possible. Uh, 
Like, the only thing that could possibly salvage this, right? Would be like... Wait. Wait. Would you put this on Branya? Assuming this gets this gets crit damage. Because assuming you're in like a longer fight with enemies spawning frequently enough, right? Then you get 40% crit for free on Branya. Or Sparkle, depending. But oh, uh, actually, you know what? I'll save it just in case. Sound linger. Make a wish. Let's wait and see. All right, here we go. Bleh, not good. How about Prism? I was kind of hoping for a man-made meteorite, but that was obviously kind of kind of rare. <clears throat> Implement of error. Skill point with basic attack. HP skill point. Does that hurt? Oh, that break the. Oh no, that didn't. Sound lingers. Make a wish. Does that hurt? Oh damn, that wasn't close enough. And I actually broke the second one. We just have to do this without using a technique. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. What do you want to know? <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> All right. Freeze dot. And we need encounter for more. What was it? Yeah. For more three star blessings, potential. Fuck! I forgot to use my technique. Three star, but well, we got th that's what the elite note is for. I wonder what that is. Make a wish. Does that hurt? Eternal. Every petal hole will be swept away by the wind. Memories beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Eternal sleep, the dead return! An elusive foretelling. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> Stand still. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. There we go. And silver coin. That gets us 200 more. Yes. Robe of Beauty. No, nah, but I want to upgrade my fragments. Or not fragments, my blessings. So we'll take the silver coin. Oh, okay. Nah. 
Like, technically... Like, we're not looking for lightning damage or planar spheres, although we'll, we'll take either one. But we either look for lightning or more preferably attack percent. Because if I, th I think if I read Acheron's kit correctly, she, she already has a lot of percent damage sources from whether it be her light cone or skill set. So you're actually better off utilizing attack percent sphere. Unless, like, someone else knows the like full math behind it and can correct me on that but i think from the gist of what i know attack percent is preferable for acheron instead of lightning damage and that one just pure garbage Sound actually i should see what's going on here e Oh, fuck it, we ball, big lotto. Alright. 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 It's all the one star ones, but I mean, it's nihility. Alright, doctor's robe. Yo, let's go. Robot sales terminal. Do I want to scam myself? Yes. Oh, the scam paid off. I got all the three star blessings for nihility. Oh, the scam paid off. <laughs> and <laughs> let's wait and see. All right, come on. Rame. Heck, that ain't Rame. That's the IPC banking part two. With the 600 fragments. Yo. My savings coming in handy. Make a wish. All right. So, enhance this, this one, weakness to everyone, uh, debuff? No, no debuffs, no, uh, Vectres, uh, no, not really, uh, energy, gonna add up a lot. I think we take weakness break. Lighting stacks? Nah. Nah. Alright, no, we don't really have much other choice. So then, I can upgrade one of these and then three down here. Uh, no, I think the math checks out for. Upgrading... Yeah. There we go. Alright. We are now ready. They don't look happy to see us. For the meme. <laughs> Existence is unity. Every petal and light all will be swept away by the wind. Memories of the Actually, no, I should have waited. Uh... Yeah, no, I should have waited on that. Eternal slip. Dead return! Eternal slip. Dead return! Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Memories are beneath the water lies an endless abyss. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Relax. Oh my god, we just did so much damage. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> The human uh, body is 
beautiful. Oh, it's I love shiny. my Hillary. All right. So are we actually going to get something out of this week? Oh, the Sigonia set. Oh. You know, I can't say no to that. We have to keep it in our... We have to keep this. Ideally, it would get speed. Anything else? Well, it would depend if there's like a DPS that doesn't need damage percent that would need like... Effect res, effect hit, break effect, or whatever. I Ideally, we get speed, but... Uh. And HP, crit damage... Well, I mean... You don't... We'll never know when we'll get another HP DPS. That or... I mean, if we roll speed, this can totally just be... A Branya item. Or Sparkle. Because I believe Sparkle scales on crit damage, just like Branya, right? Okay. And... Ah, oh, fuck off. Fizz... Mm, eh, no, I don't think I can make any use of that. We need crit to go along with the set bonus, otherwise it doesn't really synergize that well. Uh, you think we'll get dual scaling? <laughs> ah, heck it, I'll just keep it just in case. Well, this week's, uh, or this week of Simulate Universe is a dud. There's some potential items, but I ain't gonna waste my materials on that. We'll keep it for a rainy day. As with a lot of things in our inventory right now. Alright, so I believe that should be- oh wait, we still got like... <laughs> We still got a lot of... <sighs> we still got a lot of other side quests to do. Although these are the more... Or these are the permanent side quests. So I can just put these off for later. We don't have to do it right now. Also wait, where is this? Red tails. Oh. You know, again... I, I really love the Trails to Walk vibes that I get from this, looking at the split, like, perspectives going on here. Uh, again, I just get so giddy when I see this. I, I, I really hope Mihoyu keeps this up. Okay. So... I think, uh, do I have any other? No, okay, I have a bunch of stamina, but I think it's about time to do what must be done. Let me just go back to the parlor car. Okay. <sighs> Actually, how many tickets do I have, like, in total here? 14. I mean, actually, I could just exchange, like, four of them just so I can have two consecutive temples. There's no real reason to do it like this, but now we have a 10-10. Okay. We 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 got past the 50-50. All we gotta do is just pull. Fuck. And we got Don Hung. Last one for the night. This brings us to 29, I believe, out of 90. Oh, no, sorry, no. The, the previous temple brought us to 29 out of 90. This one will bring us to 39. Come on! No! It's over. Well, I mean, I can we, we can cope a little bit with the with the three passes. Bring us to forty two out of out of ninety, and wow, it really is Arlen Asta. Oh, okay, please. Uh. 
No, please. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, losing 50 50 set you back so fucking much. I mean, this is, I mean, this basically, basically is just the lesson of don't bank on winning your 50 50s too much to maintain a good Jade stockpile. You really had to choose, um, skipping whole ass banners. Oh yeah, like hard skipping and or no hard skipping consecutive banners. Oh my god, you really gotta save for double pity because you never know when you just get fucked. Like there's still a whole bunch of time. I mean we're coping like extremely, extremely hard here. But like, let me see. Yeah, no, there's nothing else I can really grab. And we got just over two weeks to scrounge for Acheron. Oh, you know what's the kicker here? I still haven't gotten another Gallagher yet. <laughs> God damn. I mean, again, like, Don Hung is. Pulling through for me, getting me extra pulls, but oh my god. Uh, you know what? Alright, let me look at my new items here. You know what? These items are a little bit too depressing. Do I really want to waste a couple materials on these? No, not really. <laughs> ah, I gotta. Well, oh man, you know I gotta sort out all of my. Ugh, I mean, there's also. What was it? There's also the exploration we start to do within, the pavilion, and also the theme park with like the extra chests, trotters. And all that stuff. And also, not to mention, uh, the... Where is it? I don't know, we have to be in Penacone to view the... What was it? View the special pass. Hold on, let me just teleport over here real quick. Oh, is it... Yeah, so like we also gotta go collect a bunch of stickers for Jade as well. All the jade here, and then the completion for the sticker stuff here, which where we would need to fulfill these conditions. I mean, I'll probably just do the like this stuff off stream, but since we kind of exhausted the major sources of jade at this point, I think I'm just gonna keep single pulling off stream with whatever I can scrounge up and pray. I. S I will not break my free-to-play vow with this game, but fuck, dude, I, I am... I am praying really, really hard here. Also, I need to buy my weekly slot tokens from this guy. Get up now, my... Oh, no, I not clockwork. Grab a box. Okay, hold on. Let's go play the slots a little bit. I think I, if I remember correctly, I still need to get the, the triple seven for the achievement. Heck. Come on, triple seven. Oh, fuck you. Oh my gosh, I still need to get the achievement for that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, heck me, dude. Alright, I'll go stop it here for tonight. That's about all I... 
can do for now. Still got some psych other side quests to do, but uh, since they're permanent, we can kind of leave it for another time when I'm desperate for more. What was it? Desperate for more uh, Jade and stuff when we get more time for Mother Gotcha stuff. Because we still got to do some FGO reading, Grand Blue event reading, and eventually get back to heckin' Dragon's Dogma. Also, I'm getting DMs. Uh. Uh. Oh, right. Okay. Enjoy break night? Yeah, tomorrow will be break night so I can rest my voice and stuff. My voice is kind of feeling sore right now with all the reading tonight. So, I'll see you guys in two days with, uh... With Grabu Fantasy, since that event will be ending sooner compared to FGO, which should allow for enough time for the time locks to be released for the FGO event. So I think it'll line up. Anyways, thanks for watching and bye bye